The Carolina Panthers select star Lotula Lane. Defensive tackle, Utah. Though Tulele was part of the Panthers Super Bowl team in 2015, he sees the same potential in the Bills and has a simple message for the team. The time is now. What about me? <laughs> Come on, dog. Well, aka Brum Brown. I gotta get to all the juice. Um, but one thing is uh, the journey. Who is Star? Thank you guys for having me, though. Um, yeah, I'm from, I was born in Tonga. I was born in Tonga. Um, I lived there till I was about um, nine years old. And then my family moved here. My family moved here and we moved straight to Utah. And I've been in Utah ever since. So born in Tonga, raised in Utah. That's hey, Star. Um <laughs> I got a, I got a memory of us in Tonga, dog. I don't know if you remember this. Start, start. If he's lying, please call him. <laughs> hey, don't let no, him. No, he might no, not no, remember. No, I was young. Don't I was young. Tell I was, a he might not remember right this, now. But check this out, though. So I was like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell my story? Look, I was like eight. Star was like six, seven. But anyways, my parents came up to us and said, "Hey, uh, I want you guys to come meet this family that that are here." And we we're like, "What?" So we went over there, right? Hey, and they're all playing outside, right? And then we were like, hey, let's play ninjas. Hey, check this out, check this out, <laughs> right? Like, and me, look, automatically, I didn't know how to do, do anything ninja, so I just ripped <laughs> off my sleeves and put it over my head, right? And Star, hey, my guy Star came over and he was like, nah, check this out. And showed me how to put my shirt. Take the shirt off. The collar and the eyes over hey, the nose. Hey, you remember that? Yeah, I man. told y'all. Been, hey. been doing that since. Huh? <laughs> that's that's yeah, the yeah. original ninjas. Hey, can you do it? Can Today? you do it right oh, now? Yeah, can you show us? Right now? Uh, <laughs> uh, that was just my memory. <laughs> so from eight years old, you still hey, don't hey, know how to <laughs> Okay, cool. Star, you still need to help. <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm glad no, Star yeah. still remember that. But anyways, yep. hey, um, just coming off of that Star, a uh, kid coming from Tonga um, to America. Um, you said you guys moved out here to Provo. Mm -hmm. um, came out here to Provo with the family. Um, what was that like as a family that came out here from Tonga to America, not knowing? And all we knew is that America is like a rich place. You know? Yeah, like coming exactly. from an island like us. Yep. So how was that journey? Um, when when I was younger, so when I came here, all, all I remember it was winter, and I came here it was the first time I saw snow. It was there was <laughs> snow everywhere. It was cold. I was like, you know. Like where am I? Like wh like what is this? <laughs> and then <clears throat> we ended up staying with my grandma and grandpa at first in Salt Lake. We stayed with them for a while before we ended up moving to Provo. And we had our own little spot out there. Um, my dad was going. We we ended. Up, he was going to BYU. He was going to school at BYU. And then um, we were staying in the BYU housing, student housing. So there's there's nine of us, and then we were staying in a three room, one bathroom, little apartment. Um, and it was tough, dude. Like a. a I, I hardly ever saw my parents growing up just because they were working. Um, my dad was going to school and working, so my mom was working at the temple, the Timbinogas Temple. Um, so pretty much like my my older sisters, I got seven, seven sisters, six older than me. You know, they were kind of the ones that watched, watched had to watch our younger ones. Okay. They had to raise the younger ones. So yeah, it was it was it was different. Um, I, I knew how to speak English. I don't think Paul knew how to speak English when he first came from Tonga. Because all I knew was yes and no. <laughs> so no English and no, <laughs> and no underwear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, sorry. See, sorry. Ken. All right. Yeah, I was I was still pretty young, so I, I could speak hey. English and stuff. So That's that part of it wasn't too bad. Hey, so <clears> just going off of that, um, you said your dad and your mom. Um, was working for BYU for the church and stuff. So that automatically means you grew up um, in the church. Yep. Right. Yep. That's like um, foundation. Born into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Moving <laughs> on from there, like we knew Star. Star yeah. came in. Star was young. Oh, I'm junior high. Okay, but listen, 
Star hung out with us because he was bigger than everybody else. <laughs> this nigga and He's uh, younger, yeah. D Nasty. Hey, shout yeah. out D Nasty. Yeah, that's right. These two were the youngins, but they were as big as us or oh, bigger. That's true. <laughs> but um, okay, let's just get right into like Timpanogos stuff. Okay. You start playing football. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about football like that? Like, no. I'm gonna try to get to the league. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm Sorry, a... I want to cut this away. Timpanogos is what year? That's what my year sophomore that? year, so probably like oh three, maybe oh oh four, I think. Okay, okay. So somewhere, somewhere around there. So yeah. your sophomore year. Okay. Yeah. Like getting Boy. a little more serious in football. Though, yeah. Right? So sophomore year, it was me, Leka. D, but D ended up playing varsity. So me and Leka were on uh, the sophomore squad together. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> hey, shout out Leka, man. Shout out, shout out Leka. Oh, 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 I don't know nothing. There's something in your right. nose, though. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, so, ahead. you know, just uh, the boys over there. Um, and when I, when I got to Timbernogus and I started playing, it was more just because all my friends were playing. It wasn't, mm. I, I wasn't really thinking, um, like man, I because I didn't really like football at the time. It was too much, it. too much exercise, too much running, like that stuff, like that. So, um, and then like I, I wasn't that good. Like when I first started playing, like, um, I was okay. I, I was just a big dude who can move pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, so, but like I said, like guy, like then I like D. We're talking about D. He's the same age as me. He was playing varsity, man. And D was bad. Like uh, that's that's what I thought. Yeah, you shout had out to my little brother. Yeah, that's what you. D that's what I thought you were supposed to be to to take football okay. serious. Okay, okay, well, hang on, hang on. Let me cut you off because I have a story to share about this guy. <laughs> so we'd always go to Ice and Thali's house. Shout out, uh, not to Vi boys. Not the Vice. We was always over there. Okay. <laughs> and there was one night this guy was with us, and um, I don't know if he remembers or not, but. This guy never took off his shirt or anything, you know? Always just, like, kept it modest. Yeah. Nigga, it's, like, 2 a.m. We're, like, getting ready to finally sleep. This guy takes off his shirt, and it's a cutoff. And we're, like, this nigga's arms, dog. Hey. He's, like, he's he had younger. Shoulder, he had shoulder pads on. Like, no, listen, listen, listen. This guy, oh, going in depth. I want to hear this. This guy's, like, like, three, four years younger than us. Yeah. But we're, like... God damn, bro. I'm like, we never see him lift weights or yeah, anything. For real, And though. he's just like, oh, no, it's cool. But not only that, this guy's like, hey, you guys cool if I just, like, do some push-ups? <laughs> it's 2 a.m. Like, we're burning CDs. Oh, he's built different. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is, this, this is where I'm going, though. But my, you. my guy was just different. Like, we're all athletic. You know, we're yeah. Polynesian. We ain't trying yeah. hard. But I seen this guy do that that night, and I was like, oh. This nigga's different. He's, he's he's like way different. Like okay. he's really trying to do some shit with with his with himself. Okay. Okay. Now you can go on because I just want. To that. <laughs> what a dumb story wait, wait, though. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, no. On. So uh, obviously sophomore Tempenogus. Yeah. Is that your? Was that the first time you played football? It wasn't the very first time, but it was like the most um, serious that I was taking football. Okay. So I was actually starting to like train and and work out and stuff like that, but. Um, I played for like half a year with my cousin in Salt Lake when we first moved to uh, Utah okay. from Tonga, and we played for West Little League. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but halfway through the season, my family ended up finding a spot out in Provo. Uh -huh. So then we had to move, and, yeah. I, and I didn't. You finish. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so that's when we first moved to Provo. I was still like nine years old. Okay. And then your junior year. Yeah. Same Timpanogos. No. So then I left after my sophomore year. My junior and senior year were at Bingham, in South Jordan. So my family moved there because uh, my dad got a job in Salt Lake City, and so he wanted to move because he was at the time he was going back and forth. He was just riding the bus every day back and mm. forth from from Orm to Salt Lake. Struggle, man. Yeah, That's so it. and he would just sometimes he would just spend the night at his brother's house in West Valley and then go to work. So um, I think him and my mom kind of decided like, you know, I think it's best that we get closer to where my dad is going so he can get go to work and. Hey, speaking off of that start, um. At that time, at that age, you're at right there, seeing your dad go through that, your parents, what your parents are going through, mm -hmm. that provides for you guys. Um, was that like a motivation, or you at that time you're like, you know what, football is really not nothing to me. You're like, you know, or did you take that seriously after yeah, football? Where you looked at as it, as I got like, older, you know, as I got older, um, you know, as you get older, you get smarter. Um, you, you don't start, you you start to not take things for granted as much. Mm -hmm. So, looking back on it now, especially. Um, just not noticing now that I hardly ever saw my mom and dad growing up. They are always gone. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Um, you know, just working hard. My dad was going to school and working. Mom was working. Stuff like that. So, okay. Okay. And they had 
six kids at home. So Damn. they're you know, it was, they're just a big sacrifice. But when you're a little kid, you know, you just you're just you're just going through the yeah, you're just you're living. Just like, I'm yeah, going to school, you're going to school, home. you're doing what you're supposed to do, that's, that's all. True. Okay, so when you went to Bingham, yeah, like you just said, that was the parents' decision. Yeah. Because people start talking about Bingham, like, man, they're just recruiting all these kids. <laughs> but yeah, talk about no, that. That's what I'm it saying. Was, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that it was, was a family a, thing. A family. It was a family decision yeah. to move closer okay. to where my dad was working. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who would have kept you at Tim <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, That would have been fun, man. Um, but yeah. We moved out there to South Jordan um, in 05, I believe. It was 05, going into my junior year. And then, um, yeah, the whole football thing kind of changed once I got to, to, to Bingham because it, it was a little di- different atmosphere. Um, okay. Not trying to hate on Timpanogos. Timpanogos was cool. But, Don't lie. Um, <laughs> like, uh, it's just it's different. football was different yeah. at, at Bingham. Like, uh, my coach – he didn't allow me to slack off. As soon as uh, I got there, he was on me. Coach Dave Peck. He was Peck, more serious. Yeah. He, 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 and then all the coaches underneath him, too. They didn't let anybody slack off. So mm-hmm. I, when I got there, it was no, uh, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that, maybe I'll show up to pre- – nah, you, I got to be there. You got mm-hmm. to show up. You got to work. And since I was forced to work, I was just, you know, might as well do something with it. Damn. Okay. So from your junior year, um, Let's talk about like obviously going at, before going to Utah. Yeah, your junior year, did you blow up your junior year? Um, I think my senior? junior year. Yeah, my junior year, I kind of like put people on notice. Like that was that okay. Was so a when you say you put people year. on notice, how did what does that mean? Like, so I think one of the biggest games I had as a junior, we played against Hunter High. They had um, the top top recruit. It was uh, Pauli Latu. He was the top recruit okay. um, in Utah at the time, uh, and he had committed to Utah to Utah. And um, so I say that just to say that um, there was a lot of college scouts, you know, at the mm. game to watch Bali, you know, just okay. to watch Bali. Okay. So, and then when we played against Hunter, you know, I, I had probably my best game as a as a junior in high school. Um, had a couple TFLs, had a pick six, you know, had a had a sack, stuff mm. like that. Ooh. And then Sound after like that, me. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you know, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> What? He's talking about football, <laughs> stupid. No, no, oh, uh, Madden. No, not bad. No, water okay. polo. Okay. <laughs> if you if you ain't never been to a Hunter High football game, like it, it's it's nah, it's, it's lit, man. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah like the fans, because it's all it's all Tong, all Tong oh, yeah. and the Samoans on the team. So it's just what? yeah. So it's it's like cr- fans yeah, are crazy. Okay. They're rude, like they're mean stuff like that. That's the kind of atmosphere. And, and it Bingham is. wasn't poly. And, it was just. We had we had um it was me it was myself Doug Fiafia, Sam Tuyone, um we had Sam Langi um oh, yeah, that's right uh what? Derek Derek Tuamanga <laughs> yeah um I'm trying to think of who we had like Polly Wise and then how my oh my dog how Picula so oh, yeah. that was like our like the little Polly group that we had over there now now it's Full of Almost polys. Full yeah, of polys. Yeah, yeah. No, it's now. Full so of you guys was kind of like the pioneers yeah. driving that poly force at Bingham, right? I, I don't know. Because there were polys so, that came uh, before us. There, there were polys that came not before like, us. But yeah. Not like that, though. No, not like that. They didn't win like us. Like, right? we won. Like, we took state <laughs> my, our senior saying. year, you know, and it was the first time in a long time that Bingham took state. So I feel like we kind of set the tone as far as, um, you know, Bingham football – yeah. Hey, speaking on that, so um, your junior year, you got close. You guys got close. Yeah. To winning state, yeah. right? Who'd you guys lose to that year? We lost to uh, Brighton. 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 Was it a big loss? Uh, it was a. It was a good game, game, but um, nah, it wasn't really that close of a game. No. Um, they, what? That was when Mike Haig was over there. Ooh. So Mike Haig, he ended up going to BYU, yeah. and then um, uh, Junior Salt, my brother-in-law, Junior Salt, oh, he yeah. was he was the oh, he was the other right. big dog that was over there. Okay. So they they ended up they beat us my my junior year and then um, you guys came back your senior year came back my senior and year and we won state. Hey, yeah. but, but uh, when you lost, were you feeling it like football like that? Like, like you know, people cry and like yeah. get emotional. Yeah, oh, I cried, I oh, cried, so I cried. So you're in it, yeah, now. I was in it, you're I was in it. Yeah, I I put in a lot of work going into my junior oh, year, yeah. uh, just like um, not as much going into my senior year, but it felt like a lot because I wasn't used to it coming from, and again, it's nothing against Tipinokas and. Or like coming from where we Stuff come from, game up. Or Talk that shit, <laughs> dog. But Talk that. I think it's lazy, dog. But it was just like it, I had to. I had to take a step up from where I was going 
and then playing at Bingham, like it, it was just a, it was a whole different new ball level. game. Yeah, different Makes level. So your so your junior year, son, you lost. Uh, I was at off season. Oh, I was I was grinding, man. I was I I was I was lifting. I'd lift, go to school. I'd lift after school. I'd come home. I had weights Jeez. in my room. I was. Okay. It hurt. I was, huh? Yeah, it hurt, man. <laughs> I was running every night. I was what? jogging. Like I jog, I jog, like two miles every night. Stuff Jeez. like that. So I was grinding. I'm, What's the last time y'all ran two miles? <laughs> right here. What you talking about? So uh, on, all the high school kids listening, <laughs> you want to get somewhere? <laughs> come on. Yeah. Okay. Work, so man. so let's go. So senior year. Senior year. You guys mm-hmm. come back. Did you guys play the same team you lost to the the following year? Or? No, Brighton wasn't as good um, after after um, my that junior year. Okay. Yeah. So they had lost all, most of their starters from the previous mm-hmm. year were seniors. Okay. So they had lost most of them, and they weren't as as good as they were. So what we did you guys play. We played in the uh, we played Alta, oh, so that's when the whole Alta Bingham thing started. Was our, right. our our year? We played them, maybe yeah. We played them twice that year. The first game and then the the, the last game of the year. Beat them both times. Beat them both times. Okay. Smashed smashed them on the, on the state champion. No nah, man, it was close. What? I think we won by like two points, oh, three points maybe. Stop it was a close lying. game. It was a close it's game. Okay. Okay. It was a Alta. good game. Alta. Alta's in uh, Sandy. Yeah. It's in Sandy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So get your first feeling of a national championship. Yeah. Feeling good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then this so is where my freaking question comes no, in. No, 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 not yet. Not <laughs> okay, yet. Okay, okay. Not yet. <laughs> so what? What happened? You're on track. People know who you are. Yeah. People so now. so my senior year, I had that. I had already had a couple offers, but if going back to my junior year, my first, my very first offer was BYU. BYU offered me. Shout out BYU. Yeah, it was Brandon Doman. And um, the funny thing is, is he offered me before the season even started. Uh, He offered me. Your senior year. Yeah. So uh, junior year. He came in. um, Yeah, as a as a junior, I was training. So I was we're uh, we're training in football class, and he came in and he saw me training, and then he offered me off of my training. So uh, oh, then we we went in. He he. I told my dad we went. uh, I went home. Told my dad like. Brandon, no one just offered me a, a full ride, and like it was a big deal because you know we're we lived in Provo, That's right. so uh, growing up, my family was big BYU fans. My dad, he um, let's go with oh, like with the little little uh, money that he had, he he always had uh, season tickets for us, for me and my little brother. Oh, so I grew up <laughs> going going to, yeah exactly here in the, here in the Cougar. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, what's that? No damn cool. Yeah, I, I knew it was a cool. Yeah, come on, yeah, come cool. on, see? <laughs> baby cool. Don't lie, don't lie, them stars. That was a, I don't know. Yeah. So we we grew up going. Me and my little brother, and my dad, we went to pretty much every home game at Lavelle Edwards Stadium growing up. So damn. like that was a huge deal for us to to get an offer, like a full ride too. And uh, it was Bronco Men in the Hall, but Brandon Dome was the one who was recruiting me. So okay, and then so your senior year comes, um, you got offers from. I didn't. Schools, yeah, right? yeah. I had a, I had like a handful. It wasn't like I didn't have yeah, offers from all like the, mm. you know, crazy. It was, I had BYU, Utah. I had Oregon, Oregon State, um, Utah State, every Utah school, and then that was pretty much it. I didn't okay. have nothing. Do you? Do you? Uh, sorry. Do you? Do you keep up with the recruiting process? Like do you do you keep up with uh, like the rivals and twenty four seven sports and like now or talking about back when then? you were when you were no no because no? I didn't know how it worked I didn't know what it all was so did you know what you were no you were a three star oh. okay so you were a three star obviously um, at the time like I was looking up so you were a three star right right across the board ESPN rated you sixty seven mm. right. And I'm and when I see that I I was a big at at the time I, I think I started getting um, into recruiting and I wanted to know how how are these guys getting kids you know into I'm a big Longhorns fan Texas yeah. Longhorns fan so I always follow them it wasn't that shout womp, out Tao hey uh, this year <laughs> you know what we'll, we'll say that for another one but anyways so I seen you rating wasn't that but I I remember when the first time I saw you uh, was on a magazine in Walmart. I was checking out, and obviously it was, it was a draft class, right? Yeah. But I, I don't want to dive in into the draft yet. Oh, I, I, that's I, time. Yeah, but I'll tell you. I'll, we'll, we'll venture down that. But knowing that, uh, obviously, you had a few when that you went from, like you said, you you just won a championship. You're feeling greatness, right? You're feeling all that. Um, what happened after that? So my senior year, 
I ended up not making grades. I, I, I didn't do good in school. Um, just, what were you doing? Just all on me. Like, I was just being lazy. <laughs> hey, didn't. Those bingham girls. Hey. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't no, no, babe. no, babe. No, babe. No, <laughs> babe. So I blew up. Yeah, no, yeah, I was just. <laughs> when it came to school, I was just lazy, man. Okay. I was just lazy. Like, straight up, I was lazy. I, I didn't like class. I didn't like going to school. I just wanted to play ball and, you know, just, like, go home. Like, pretty, that, like that's what I wanted to do. Okay. So. Um, I didn't make grades, and then um, after that, I, I I quit. Like I just stopped playing football. It was it was a little bit of disappointing in myself, but knowing that I let like my family down. Like you just you were done. Yeah, I quit. Like I, I wasn't playing. I wasn't working out. I went and got a job um, at Bradley's Furniture Store, uh, move, <laughs> moving company. So I was Stop moving furniture. Yeah, moving. I was moving furniture, delivering furniture, Damn. and it was like. It's not like regular furniture. They sell like um, like cabin stuff. So it's like these big old wood bed frames and stuff like <laughs> Heavy that. Heavy as hell. Heavy man. I mean, probably why, not for you. Why but. a furniture store? That was just the only job that I could get because at the time I didn't do okay. good in school. Damn. Like, what else am I gonna do? Um, I I didn't want to work out there with my uncles. So <laughs> wait, wait, I was like, you had your daughter yet or no? I was probably like um, Boy, hey, eighteen. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you're 18, you're 18, 18 and you're 18, you listen. <laughs> Sorry, you said you're 18, you're, you go with... Yeah, so I was like, furniture? yeah, I was about 18 years old. And that's when I started working furniture and... um Man, it's it sucked. Like it, it, I hated it, dude. I hated it. That's my job right now. Yeah, man. I, <laughs> hey, hey, dude. That's just suck <laughs> I I hated it, man. Yeah. Like, like it was. I, I was breaking my back oh, and I was yeah, getting man. I was getting paid like. It was it Bread was and yeah Mountain. it was okay yeah for real like that's what it Ice felt like something. exactly dude like but it wasn't yeah it, it just wasn't it, it wasn't I just knew I didn't want to that's not what I wanted to do like I and I I knew I wouldn't be able to to do that for the rest of my mm. life how long did you do like it for it. man I did it for like three weeks <laughs> that's smart how decision. that's smart dude, decision that's how that's how much I that's, hated that's, it that's, that's how much I hated it I couldn't do it I did it for about. I, Maybe a month. I'll give myself that that much. Maybe a month. I know more than a month, and I was, just, I was what, like, nah, what, I can't. What click to like, hey yo, I gotta get back in the game. Um, was that a fast transition or was that a slow transition? It was slow because my the whole time I was doing this, my parents were still like on me, like, hey, yeah, go to snow, do? yeah, because yeah. uh, because snow offered me a scholarship, mm-hmm. and then I got a scholarship offer from Eastern Arizona, another JC in Arizona, Maybe and they're so. yeah, and they're just saying mm-hmm. like, um, just pick one. Pick one, just go try. Like, play, if you see like, see what happens, and just being hard headed and still in that mode of like, nah, I'm done with football. I, I just, I didn't listen. I wasn't ready to play again. And then, um, eventually, I just, yeah, like the job, it kind of pushed me to, like, yeah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> like, I don't want to work <laughs> this. Like the nine to five it's thing is, yeah, I don't, I, just, I can't it. do it's this. Not like, not I know right. I won't be able to do this. Bye, Alpito. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That's what, my, that's what my parents were saying. Like, yeah. I'm sure my parents are very grateful for that job, dude. Because, yeah. man, that, that it was it was hard work, and I not the kind of hard work I like. Okay. So. And so from from that, when you quit, did you end up going to snow? Yeah. So when I quit, I ended up uh, Tui Filianga. He he ended up training me. Hey, hey, hey shout, shout out to yeah. Filianga, man. I, <laughs> shout hey, out. I went to Tui. Timonogos with them. Yeah. yeah. Isley. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hey, yep. shout out. Hey, All Uncle Tui. Hey, shout out to Filianga. Yeah. Man. So he ended up training me. Um, he, he, I was, I was. Um, he trained me, got me ready Wait, for did snow. You, did you go to him and told him you're going to snow, and he wanted to train you, or did he just say hey. no? Nah, because they actually ended up moving to South Jordan. Because LT he transferred to Bingham. That's so, right. Because they, right, moved, they right, moved. They moved to right. South Jordan too. So they were living in, in South Jordan. And I was just kicking in with LT, and we were at their house. And um, He's like, he yeah, got, no, he no. just asked me. He was like, "What are you doing with your life right now?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm just working." And then. Um, <laughs> pretty much, he was like, "All right, you're gonna start training tomorrow." I, I think uh, I'm pretty sure he had a talk with my parents. Oh, okay. And then I think my parents were kind of, kind of expressed to him what they would like me to do. Oh, yeah. hey. But because I was so hard headed, um, but up, man, it's so like, hey, but that family, hey, like like I said, that family is like that, like that, like they. Yeah. Work, like they get their kids to work out. Like I remember when I was playing with Isley and man, oh, he, his dad would bring him to Timonogos and have him run miles, yeah. bro. Dude, they would level. all lift weight. Yeah, yeah that's In what I school. mean, man. Another like level. All, yeah. So yeah, shout out to Filianos, man. They're, they're a good family. Okay, so you, Uncle Tui, got you training and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, how long was it before you went to snow? Um, training with Uncle Tui. Yeah, he he just trained me for that. So it was like winter, okay. winter or spring, 
and or winter. It was winter, and then spring I was at snow. Oh, okay. Damn. So it was like it was season. quick. Yeah, it was oh, quick. Yeah. So it was. So when 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 you when you went to snow, were you ready? You felt like you were ready, or were you just like, man, I'm, let me see what's up. I don't really want to be here. Um, I, I, when I got there, I I didn't want to be there. Like uh, I, I was still like. <laughs> Stupid. Huh? Yeah, man, just hard headed. <laughs> like I, I didn't want to be there. I didn't want. I didn't want to go to school. School was the. I think school was the biggest um, wall for me. Like it was just. Okay. I just did not want to do school. And if I, the only thing I had, like, school comes with football. No, like, yeah, like, yeah. like if you student, want, yeah, student athlete is what yeah. they tell you. Yep. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. yeah, student first, yeah, and student first. that's the part that was hard for me. Okay. Like, okay. and and it wasn't because I wasn't smart enough. It was just because I was lazy. Like when it come, came to school. I just didn't want to do it, but when I got there, um, I had no choice because my parents they just dropped me off and left. So they're you know I, I, <laughs> like I couldn't. There's no. Hey, they just sometimes you be like hey, that. Hey man, that's that was the Sunny I think that was though, yeah right? that's the best way they they could do it. I was in my room like depressed, like man, I don't want to be here, dude. Like, <laughs> but <Hey>. um, <laughs> that, yeah, they just left okay. me there and then. Again, like it was just one of those things. Like, shoot, I'm I'm forced to do this, so let's do something with it. Uh, let's move on from that. Um, for snow, is this is this where you met your wife? Yeah. So, I met my wife. We dated for about a year and a half, and then um, and then uh, she got pregnant, and then that ah. yeah, that was that was the all right. It's it's time to go to work. Okay, like, okay, okay, so, okay. Let me get into that. Hold on, so let me get into that. Go Why, why, why was it that your wife getting pregnant was yeah. like you? You know what I mean? Why, why did that motivate you? You could have just been like, okay, you're pregnant. You know yeah. What I mean? Let's let's just go through the motions. Yeah. See what, but why, why is that story? So, it's a couple things. I had worked a nine to five, and I knew I didn't want to do that, and I knew I couldn't do that. So I had, I, I there had to be another way for me to provide. Mm. Um and. I was at I was at Snow to play football and to go to school and to get an education. So um, I knew that the best way to provide for my daughter was to play football. That's so cool. that's what that's what clicked it for me. Isn't it crazy though how the kids change you? That, that's Instantly. what I'm trying like, to get at. Wow. It goes from yeah. all about myself. That's you what know? I mean. And then oh, me and my <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> exactly. And then the baby comes and yeah. you're like, hey yo, like yeah. this person comes before that's me. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Like that's yeah. what I was trying to get at because I'm saying like why why like you know what I mean? Because yeah. obviously when you're dating. You're in love, you know, things happen, you know what I mean? You're like, you know, but then when the baby comes, it's like a whole different flip. It's like, hey, I know it's me uh -oh. and you, but this person right here is coming no yeah. matter what we yeah, do. Yeah, sure. No, no, so I, that's why I just want to. I definitely took my hat off and commend you because it, it went from, like you said, you lazy kid in high school, um, those same um, antics and behaviors, you carried it on to snow and it still wasn't. But the moment when it was not about you, um, that's when it flipped and, and clicked and whatnot. And I think that's a lot of, you know, um, I would say individuals or people that gone through that around the world, you know, and a lot of people don't get that chance. And some that's of them don't saying. get that, you know, that, that switch that it's not about me that's anymore. Even though you got all the gifts from, you know, yeah. the man upstairs, uh, some of them are hard-headed and, and still stick to that um, laziness and that path of, uh, disappointment and just yes. going to the easy uh, route out, which is quit. Yeah, you know. Uh, yes. So Go yeah, work at the furniture store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> so, um, so your your girl's pregnant. Did you guys get married right away? Like how with traditional <clears throat> people, how we usually do it when they find out they're pregnant, you gotta marry her, or was yeah, it, or was yeah, it pretty much yeah. No, we we got married um, okay. pretty much right away when she got yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Were you yeah. were you done with snow at that time, or no. you guys are still in snow? Yeah, we together? were still in snow. That was that was um like the end of my um going into my sophomore year at okay. snow. So then um yeah, when that had happened, she um. She ended up just moving back because she was going to school. She was playing volleyball. She was on a volleyball scholarship at Snow. Um, and then she ruined her life. just ruined her life. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, yeah, she moved back. Okay. She moved back home, and she was just she stayed at home while I, I was going back and forth to Snow. Did and, you, and home. Okay, when she when you guys found out she was pregnant, did did everybody know, or did you just keep it between you two until <laughs> you were done with Snow? Um, you know Tongan. I yeah. know that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm uh, saying. Some, exactly. You know Tongan. Some, <laughs> some, somehow my mom found out. Oh, like, uh, not the mom. Yeah. Bro. So, so she found Ooh. out, and um, you know, this is good because I was, <laughs> I did good. Yeah, I, I didn't, I, I didn't want to tell. I didn't want. I was too scared, man. I was okay. too scared. I, then she called me, and you know, she gave me the whole mom speech, and okay. um, 
She was a little more like um, emotional about it than my dad was. Mom, That's sure. who my dad yeah. is. My dad has always been like um, they they've both been yeah like but you know he they, to, to my dad because he's a man he's a, mm. he's a dad. It was just all right. So what are you gonna do now? Okay, um, man to man. Yeah, mm. and my mom was you know the mom thing is oh, you idiot <laughs> <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And, but, what um, were you thinking? You know, I love my mom and dad. They're, yeah. they're, they're, yeah. they're the best. Um, and you know, that's. And then it just went from there. And then. So how long? How long were you at Snow before you you figured out where you wanted to go? I was there another semester. So okay. while I, while I was there for my sophomore semester, uh, I actually redshirted. So I was there for freshman and sophomore, oh, yeah. but I had to graduate because I didn't make grades. So I had to graduate. Mm. Um, so I played my freshman year. Um, and then I redshirted my sophomore year. Redshirted my sophomore year so I could have three, three more, three to okay. play at a at a D one. And who's who, who's the the tightest nigga you played with that uh, snow? Um, the top dude was James Iono. That was more, Ooh. and he was like my best friend. He was like my best friend at Snow. He was another. Ooh. We were on the D line together. Hey, nice. hey, shout out Fred Shack though. Come on. You know, Fred, Uncle Fred had a little Oh, shot. yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on, dude. Bro. Hey, shout the, out Fred. The, the, the best, the best food, man. I don't know man. about that. Yeah, Come on, was, man. man. It was you just. You down there and eat from, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Fred, he, he did his thing <laughs> on the grill, man. He, and he, yeah, he looked hey, out for us, too, man. So right. shout out to Fred. He he looked out. Okay, so. um, So now you have the choice. Yeah. You yeah. play this, no. Yeah. People Wife's starting pregnant. People to recognize you again. Yeah. So then, um, honestly, um. This is the thing. Uh, Say it. BYU, BYU, <laughs> Say yeah. It. See, I'm trying to lie. Look, look. This is how it happened. See what happened? I'm trying to lie. This is, this is too boring. Yeah, like, um, yeah, here you go. Tell him. I, I, it, it wasn't that uh, I didn't want to go to BYU. BYU <laughs> didn't come recruit me at Snow. Oh, um, what? Yeah, it was, it was, it was Utah. So, uh, mm. Kalani and... Um, well, what happened to the full ride? That's about BYU. Yeah, they, 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 they took it away, they took it away when, I did, you, when yeah, I didn't Utah. make it. So... <laughs> So they yeah I did nobody talked to me from BYU while I was at Snow the whole time and then um, come on BYU. what are you doing <laughs> so oh it was pretty much Kalani J Hill but Kalani came to see Wait, me you almost said, oh every Kalani week. was at the U he was my yeah he was the D coordinator oh. at Utah he was recruiting people he was, too yeah right? him him and J Hill they they were J Hill who's with Kalani now yes. at BYU yeah. oh, so they were the two smart. that were uh, they were recruiting me Kalani I wish we had you at BYU <laughs> at this time man we need we need a star at that time let me ask you this if if you were to rewind it all the way back, obviously going to snow. <laughs> and today is, is the same cast words I've been. You yeah. still choose Utah? Kalani's here at BYU right now. Today. Wait, wait say, ask, ask again. Ooh, where would you go if you were at snow today? Yeah. You you got, like got, right now. Right, right now. now. And Kalani came and gave you a BYU gave you a scholarship BYU. and Utah gave you a scholarship. <laughs> Let's go. Good question. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, comment. Hey, 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 put your put your answer in the comments. No, 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 no. We ain't putting on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> today, yeah. Right look, um, because of no. where I went, I'm, no. I'm Utah. I'm Utah, like through and through. Okay, like okay, that's give you Utah. That. That's I where am, you went. Like, now, yeah, that's, that's okay, can't take Utah that, is who okay. I am. Like that's that's part of my life, yeah, and meant, I will he, never you change. You know, he stuttered because he was you. It didn't have to do with no obviously the recruiting wouldn't. It's just yeah, where you end up. Yeah, be honest. Be honest. While we're on the topic. When you guys played BYU, did you feel like you had a oh, chip yeah. on your shoulder? Yeah, like I, I, I felt you every guys game. Turn your like, back on yeah. me. I'm yeah, it was personal every game. What? Like, for me, it, it, it was personal every I feel game. That. Oh, so yeah. every Look game. What I, you guys? Did. When we lost that game, that boy, <laughs> you, you made a monster and let him go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Nah, yeah, it definitely was. That's Just dope. because, as a competitor. Like and as a man, like yeah, it's, that's right, man. Like, uh, it's, yeah. It was personal every game, and Ooh. I didn't have no ill ill feelings or nothing like that. But it was just like, all right, like let's, let's go. Like I'm gonna show y'all. Like that's yeah. that's the kind of attitude I took yeah. to that let's game. Let's go. Hey, great Ooh. question, cousin. That's tight. So you uh, your sophomore year, yeah, you came in the uh, end of the season, got the starting job. Yeah. Your junior year, I heard you you tore it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Made a name for yourself. Mm -hmm. And in the senior year, um. You shared the Morris Trophy. That was my called? junior year. I won the Morris oh, Trophy. Oh, the junior yeah, year. So my junior you shared year, it with who? No, I won. I won it. So okay. as a D, there's a uh, there's a Morris Trophy for offense, and then there's a Morris Trophy for defense. defense. Oh, and it's, um, okay. It's the best defensive. Is that like Pac-12? Pac yeah, just yeah. Pac-12. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's just um, it's voted on, and it's voted on by the players. Yeah. So that's it means a little bit more to the players, but 
Um, it's just the best O lineman and then the best D lineman voted by the players. Yeah, and I I won that after my junior season. It was our first year in the Pac-12. And then I won that, and then um, okay. Then you go into your your senior year. Yeah, you already made a name for yourself Mm -hmm. in junior year. You're starting. I mean, you started your junior year, your senior year. You you guys are coming in, and you guys are tearing it up that year. Utah, you guys came up. Wait, 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 wait. Let me rewind just a little bit. Okay. So you guys went into Pac-12 at the end of your junior year. No, my junior year was our first oh, year in the Pac-12. Yeah, yeah, so we were Mountain well, West. Won that. Mountain West was um, um, my sophomore year. What was the transition, dude? Like, could you feel the difference mm. in play yeah, between um, players and teams? teams? Yeah, it was it was a lot faster, um, just because it was it was a lot of spread. We were playing a lot of spread mm-hmm. offenses, like okay. pretty much every week, um, and uh, like there there was, it was it was a good game every week. Like it, we couldn't we couldn't um, there was no there's no like like off game like easy like no hate on any of these schools but there was no Vegas game there was no New Mexico game there was Talk no your wish. Wy- <laughs> there was, there was, there was no Wyoming hey, game you know I'm stuff like saying, that so yeah, I'm just yeah I'm just it, oh, hey, you, notice, you notice he didn't oh, he didn't say BYU, BYU play hey, he okay. didn't say BYU <laughs> no no no, 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 no. I didn't say BYU man no 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 I'm just okay. saying so that that makes your award even that much more That's what special. I mean. Special. Yeah. That's your first year yeah, in the Pac-12. Yeah, our first year in the Pac-12. Yeah. And you're the best yeah. hey, defensive lineman. And line. the players are the one that voted. <laughs> Come on. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say, though. So, so what we're really saying is Utah got hella lucky picking you up. You were really a Pac-12 player going to the Mountain West. That's what I mean. Diamond in the rough. Okay, diamond in the okay, rough. Okay, that's all I want to say. So, 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 yeah. Okay, so going into your uh, senior season um, at the U, you, you're – you wanted to go to the NFL. Like, yeah, the NFL. Mind, like this is this is the goal. I'm, yeah, the NFL was on my mind. Invested in football. Now. As soon as I got to Utah, okay, I was trying to go to the league because, again, it was I had a family. You had to. Yeah, I had a family, and then you know the whole didn't want to do the the, the nine to five thing, and so, yeah, the, the NFL was the goal as soon as I got to Utah. Okay, so after your your senior year, you know, practically everybody in Utah knew. Star is gonna get drafted. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. So, so speak about, um, speak on that. Like, how was that whole? Did they come up to you and tell you you're gonna get drafted, or because I mean, we saw the whole thing yeah. on TV. Like, yeah, how, yeah. how did you know you? Like, did you know you were gonna get drafted, or how does that work? I knew I was gonna get drafted oh. um, uh, because. Uh, I thought we were humble here. <laughs> you knew. Sure. Yeah, just because I, I I knew I put the work in. I did what I was supposed mm, to do. Cool. Um, I said what I, I I I did what I said I was gonna do going to my senior year. Once I got an agent, agents talk with scouts, and agents talk with teams, and then I kind of got the feedback from that. So okay. it was I already I already knew. I just want to say this real fast. Okay. Did you see what his forty was? Yeah. On the combo. Yeah. No, what, what was your forty? <laughs> Bro, his forty was a five three. <laughs> and I was watching this video, and I'm like, can you imagine trying to run away from this Dude, guy? You know how scary yeah. that is. <laughs> how, many, how many times did you practice for that? I didn't run a forty. I. Stop. Like saying now I can Stop. say it because it does. Like I I trained, I trained to um to lift. That was it. I trained to get strong. a good bench Bro. just to show them Strength that I'm strong. Match, and then speed. yeah, I never ran a forty one time for training. What? Like I got down in a defense alignment stance and I just <laughs> ran the forty. Yeah. Like that's what I did hey. my my my, comp, my pro so day. So you telling me all that is just just natural? That's Jan, yeah, no Five training was yeah. just natural without doing anything. Imagine what he was doing <laughs> in the NFL. Yeah, that's, all right, that's all I want. I just saw yeah. the video and I was like, oh my yeah, because I. All that stuff that happened with my my heart at the combine That's and right. all that, like I, 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 I didn't really have a lot of time to train for the pro day because I had to sit out. They didn't, they, I wasn't allowed to train. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Speak right. on That's that, right. though. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. You had your senior day, pro day, pro day. Yeah, yeah. and, okay. and uh, I worked out at the at the pro day, but it was after the combine. When I went to the combine. Um, because we do a lot of medical stuff at the combine, and they said that my heart, my I, my um, EKG had come back and said that they found like an abnormality with my heart, what? and um, so that in itself was kind of scary. And yeah. then um, you know, it, and it, when that happened, it was kind of like I wasn't so worried about, dang, am I going to be okay? Because I felt fine. It was more of like, dang, our team's going to still take me. Like yeah. mm. that, that's what it turned into. It's going to ruin my uh, yeah. Okay, that's my what it dream. turned into me. Like like I was scared that. That scared you yeah, about that. that was the only thing that scared me about that. But did that. it? Did it affect it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. So let's get into that. So the draft. seen it the draft night, cousin. Mm-hmm. So this is what I'm talking about. If I watched it, and it was like 
they were doing the whole tonguing thing. They were roasting oh, pigs outside. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. special was on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were doing the whole thing. But this is the best at part home. to me. He was at home. Hey, the at best. Home. Hey, the best thing for me. I paused it too. Is it was Star's face. He was holding his daughter. I don't know what daughter it was. Yep. But the camera zoomed in, and this dude looked like he was about to, to sleep. Fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> right. But look, the reason why that was the the, the best um thing for me, because to me, I feel like everybody there was so happy. Like yeah. Star's getting drafted. We're all celebrating. But he was just sitting there like, you know, I don't, this is, and that's how Star is. That's what I'm trying to say. He's like, he's not about the show. Like, he's not about the cameras on him. Like, and just seeing that moment with him holding his daughter, I, that um, that moment, I was like, that's the real him right there. You're, you're a culture guy, right? You're yep. Yep. Culturally yeah. rooted into yep. your roots? Yeah. Tonguing, through and through. Um, and um, that, that whole draft day, um, if it were up to me, like, I would have just been at home. Doing what I was family. doing, and somebody would just give me a call, like, mm. call me and let me know where I'm going. And, uh -huh. But Good. but it's an experience for my family. Oh, you know, yeah. this is like a once in a lifetime. Family from Tonga? Yeah, man. straight from Tonga. We never know exactly. stuff like that. And that was all my uncles in the backyard doing the pigs okay. and stuff. So it was it was just all my uncles in the backyard doing the pigs. Mm. They didn't come inside. They let all the aunties and all the cousins yeah. come inside, and they stayed outside with the TV. Oh, you know, but, that but kind of thing. But let's let it be known. You weren't doing that for the for the camera. You were doing that no, because that's how we just, really do yeah, it. Yeah, that's, okay. exact, that's exactly that's what would happen at any other kind of function. And, that's right. And it's, it, for me, it was more of um, I wanted my family to be celebrated. I wanted them to have a day where they could be like, yeah, like I love that, this is us, uh, you know. Mm. This is us. We did this. I need the prodigal son. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. God talk, you got talking. Like, explain the feeling, bro, because yeah. this is what you've been waiting for your whole yeah. life. But like, not only like, that. Wait, wait. Does like does North Car does Carolina give you a call or anything before? No, no. So you I, don't know. Well, I had a I had a couple teams in my mind that I was thinking. These are the teams Possibly. that. Who yeah. did you want to go to? Oh, there you go. Great question. Honestly, I wanted to stay close to home. That was it. Like I wanted to stay on the west. That was. You want to like, be a Denver Bronco? I, if he I, didn't I care, if they right? yeah anywhere. No, he wanted to go to yeah. the Raiders. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and anywhere. Yeah. Stop that. And then <laughs> being minors. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. they sent me on the other side of the country. <laughs> 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 Opposite okay. side of the country. So, so no call. I mean, you well, kind of no. know. Yeah. So I had a. I had a individual workout with Carolina and gotcha. uh, with the D-line coach who he was my D-line coach for my whole career. Okay. Um, uh, and I love him. So, uh, and he told me, he was like, look, after our workout, we went out to lunch and we were sitting there talking and he, he told me, he, he was honest. He said, look, um, if I have a chance to get you, I'm going to take you. And then when Carolina and then but the other thing was the Jets was on 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 they were right before Carolina that's right that's and right and I thought I was going to the Jets, Jets. okay so, okay so let's let's talk about that let's talk yeah. about that so you're sitting there holding your daughter um they come up first round 13 pick right mm -hmm. yep. star looked a little late oh I was 14 14 yeah the the Jets, the Jets pick was 13, 13. Yeah. oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And you thought you were gonna go to I them. thought I was gonna go to them because okay. when I went to visit the Jets and I had a talk with Rex Ryan and you know, he was saying all the good stuff yeah, and everything you want to hear. Um, and he was saying that they felt good about me. And if, you know, he said he said the same thing. Like, if, if okay. they have a chance that they, they we'll grab you. me. So Okay, so when the Jets came up and they moved on, you knew you were coming next? I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know. You so still don't know. Because, you know, you hear the same thing from that's everybody. Right, that's Everybody's right. saying. That's what I'm about to ask you. Yeah. yeah. Do, does, does everyone say the exact same thing? <laughs> you hear the same, the same thing, pitch yeah. and everything. It, okay. It's very similar. Oh, okay. It's very similar. So you go to you go to different teams, and everybody says, you know, we love you, we love what we see, you know, and if if you're there when we have if we have a chance to get you, we're gonna take you. How, how many teams did you get interviewed by? So at the combine, I ha I got I had I think I had like uh, ten interviews, Damn. and um. And, and did it get more to the point where, you, like you said, that they kept the saying same the same thing, where you shaking your hand and you were like, man, whatever. <laughs> man, whatever. Yeah, I, I think I was just so nervous and, like, in the mm -hmm. moment okay. that I just, like, I just, I was so scared of messing up. Like, I didn't want to mess up. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to look good, look good to the teams. And so. Um, so I, out of those teams, which which team did you want to go to? Out of the ten? Out of the yeah, ones well, that I, talked to me? Yeah, come um, on. Choose one. That I don't want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, so I did talk to the Raiders, and I wanted to go to. <laughs> I, I, let me tell you, yeah. you messed up for the Raiders, man. Y'all messed up. No, yeah, I'm glad I, I, you didn't go there. Y'all don't make me jump off. But I'm glad you got rid of Carr. Yeah. So I, yeah, I either one. I, I, my Stay dream home, spot would have huh? been 
somewhere in Cali or to Arizona. Just to stay close. Yeah, somewhere close. Okay, cool. All right, so let's talk about it. 14 pick, they come out and say the Carolina Panthers. So, like, star Lotto Lele. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole family goes crazy. Mm-hmm. What does Star feel in that moment? Besides everybody else with yeah, their phones so out and going crazy, what does Star feel at that moment? I was I was relieved, and then um, I was happy, but I was I was sad because um, even though I was grateful to be drafted, I it hit me that like, dang, I'm moving across the country, like I'm leaving everybody. Oh. Uh, it's got I got to pick up my wife and my kids. We've never I've, we've this whole time going through school, we were staying with my parents. Um, been in Utah, been in Utah, and then it was like, all right, like. Yeah. Here's the Pack world. Yeah, here's else. the world. You like gotta you gotta be go, a real adult. Yeah, man. you gotta go be a real adult. You gotta, and again, it's not the same as like anybody else because you know that it's a you're a professional athlete. You're making really good money, so you it's not like you're you're leaving to go and you're gonna be struggling or something like that. Right, but right, right. being who I like, my family means a lot to me. Your family guy. My, yeah, I'm a family okay. guy. So, like, I'm happy, but at the same time, in my head, I'm like. Dang, I'm going all the way to Carolina. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't. I've never been to the Jeez. south. I'm, I'm going all the way to the other opposite side of the country, and I was nervous, man. Instantly, I was nervous. Like, it was scary. It was a scary thing to think of to 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 have to pack up and to leave home, leave home, and just dip Be to the other side of the country. Yeah, with your little family. Like, I don't. Like, I was like. I don't know if I'm like I. I don't know if I'm gonna be like a good dad because really all I was was going to school, family. playing football, coming home. My 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 wife and my kids were at home with my parents and my family, mm. like we were good. Like good. and then now you gotta really find out. Like, okay, how you, we gonna do yeah, this? how you how's it gonna work <laughs> now? Did, did you, you, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Did you, move, did you move the family or it was you yeah? First? No, oh no, I had to have my wife, I had to have my wife and my <laughs> yeah, kids with okay. me. Like That's there was fine. no way that I couldn't. You probably I, going insane, right? If it was just you, yeah. If it was just me, I, okay. I wouldn't. I, I don't. I don't know if I would have made it. Um, mm. It would have been that. It would have been hard. I would have forced myself to stay, but I think I would have been um, hating it if I was if I was away from everyone. So okay. I always had my wife and my kids with me. They well, always I mean, had. They always had to be with it, me. So. Okay, let's talk about this star. I mean, you ain't got a lot, but what was your rookie check look like, star? <laughs> oh, we are getting into the money. Huh? Right? I just want to just wait, a wait, rookie, wait, just wait, a rookie wait, check. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Are we getting into money now? <laughs> no. Okay. Let, right. let me ask a question first. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> How does it feel? Come on. Going from like an average, there might be a few hundred in your account mm-hmm. to like millions, in, hundred in, thousand in your family. Like the first real generational Ooh. wealth yeah. member in your family. Like what? What is that? How does that feel like, though? You, you went from what? Uh, he said, uh, like furniture store check. I'm just saying. Yeah, nah, he was... went from tiny ninja shit. I mean, <laughs> like, like, me. like from a normal person to seeing like what you got. Yeah. Talk though. Um, what do you do with that, dog? Yeah, it was um, it was a blessing, though. That's that's really all. Like the biggest thing I could say about it is it was a blessing because I never had to worry about money. Ooh. Like um, that was that was the best thing, and it was good because I didn't have to worry about money, and that means my mom and dad didn't have to worry about money. So that was Man. the biggest thing for what? me was um, mm-hmm. like I got my first big check. I got my very first big check as a rookie, and I, I just said it. I took a picture of it, and I sent it to my wife, and I was like, look at this. Damn. What was and, the first uh, thing you bought? Ooh. I bought my wife a car, and I bought me a car. and then, um, <laughs> Well, the very first thing I bought before I got drafted, I got a truck for my dad. Mm. So, And I got a truck for my dad. Um, I and got then, to say, all that money you only bought him something. <laughs> <himself. laughs> what nah. happened to the dad in nah. the car? Nah. Nah. Nah, <laughs> bought, bought my dad, you know, bought my dad a, a, a nice new truck. Let's go, um, man. Dude, speak on that feeling, though. Like, yeah, come on. Yeah. Your parents don't, like, that's the dream, bro. Yeah. Like, dude. I wish I could do something so my parents don't have to work no more. Like, yeah. what was nah, that it was feeling nice. like? It was, it was great, man. Like I said, it was a blessing because it was, it was something that, um, I had always wanted to do for my parents, but you know, I got lost along the way, speed bumps along the road. But um, being able to do it, man, it was just a blessing. There's, there's nothing else, um, nothing else I can really compare it to. You know, it's, well, it's, it's, not, it's like you can dream. never pay them back. Though, yeah, you huh, can never pay them back. No matter how much money yeah. you made in the NFL, it's like right. it's never enough to pay my parents. No, nah, it'll never be enough. All, no, you can, no. all you can do is make life a little bit That's easier. There you That's go. it. Fact. So I like that. But look, though, Star. To, to regular people like us, when you make the NFL, we automatically think, this nigga is millionaire. He's got money. But it's really not like that, right? Mm-hmm. 
It's just yeah. like a, it's a job now. It's mm-hmm. like people think all that million dollars just go to you, but it really doesn't mm-hmm. work that way, right? Yeah, yeah. It's um for yeah for a lot of people um, when you go professional sports, like you said, family members they see professional sports, they see yeah. whatever actor, uh, lawyer, whatever doctor, and it, they just think it's automatic money. And um, for a lot of people, it's not that way. Um, so um, you know, it's. Like I said, in the I, NFL, do you have to prove yourself? You gotta prove yourself to get paid that much, right? Yeah. Well, when you get drafted as a rookie, like um, you get whatever whatever round you go as a rookie, the money just goes down lower and lower the further you get drafted. You, you get, get drafted. signing bonus. Yeah, you get signing but bonus. Guaranteed as a money is different. Huh? Yeah. So as a rookie, um, what was your signing bonus? my signing bonus was all guaranteed. <laughs> Uh, it, was, it was all guaranteed money. Hey, just throw it to me underneath. <laughs> Mama, Dad, we made it. We made it. Mama, we made it. Give him a dollar. Okay? This magic moment. That's stupid. <laughs> okay, that's what's up, though. Okay, signing bonus. Start yeah. to make it. Family happy, right? Mm-hmm. You said you said you took a picture, sent it to your wife. Um, when did you When did you tell mom and dad that um, they didn't have to worry about? Anything anymore? Like when? When? When was it? When you? Because like I like like um cousin said like nice said um he touched on that and said that's that's really a Polynesian kid's dream. Like, yeah, I don't know how it is for everybody else, but us as a culture people, um growing up and knowing where we're from, we don't have much. It's it's our dream to give back. Like I said, we never can. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But Star had that. You know what I mean? That moment to do that to his parents. So I want to I want to touch on that Star. How? Seeing like like how you said we talk about your dad riding the bus to school. You mm-hmm. see him walking the, the bus stop and all that. And now now you're grown and you see all that. How was it to call your parents and be like, "Hey, I can never pay you back, mm-hmm. but look." Yeah, no, nah, like like it was it's just a it was a blessing, man. There was there's nothing like we talked about is there's nothing you can really do to to pay back your parents. Mm-hmm. Um, but being in a situation like that. Um, just being grateful for you know my parents never quitting on me even though I quit on myself my parents kept going they kept pushing me um, and to be in that situation to to finally be like hey look all everything that you guys did for me everything that we worked for you know it's finally it's finally paying off a little bit so shout out Auntie Uncle <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. there you go for real. shout out my dad real parents raise them up right okay <laughs> enough with the the that get out of the money point. let's clear yeah, no, let's no. get up. wait wait let me go let me go let me go okay <laughs> wait, so now yeah. you're at North Carolina I'm uh, not North Carolina Carolina yeah yeah, yeah. Char- North Carolina Charlotte oh yeah. Charlotte yeah. okay yeah. oh it yeah. is yeah, yeah. yeah. alright tell the truth who was the first person in your NFL career to put you on your ass and like Ooh. wake you up like hey, oh shit easy Mike you party for real. Stop lying. Yeah. Ooh, so that's a big boy. Yeah, hey, that's, hey. that's my dog right there. So um yeah, I remember the, the play never left my mind. Oh, shit. Never left my mind because I it was it was in the playoffs. I, no it was in the playoffs. No. They beat us. Like it that? was like, yeah, and it wasn't like a he didn't like put me on my back. It was like a kind of like I came out of my stands and I was looking up at him and he just gave me like a little punch in my chest and I like just fell to my stomach and I was like, <laughs> it was like, I was like dang. And I got up and I like I didn't know like in my mind that had never happened to me <laughs> like that's the first time that's ever happened to me oh, and in my mind like I, I I don't even remember what happened the rest of the play like I was just I just remember like that's all I was like I was like just going and I was just like dang dude what the heck and then I finally went to the sideline and I was talking to my my, my the other D lineman on the with in my in my room and I was like dude Mike just punched the hell out of me dude <laughs> so disrespectful yeah and so Damn, so that, that yeah there, it was know? mike man and did i did somebody come up to you when you came to the side like hey you you good <laughs> <laughs> hey right. i had a vet in my room his name was charles johnson and he didn't come to me on the side but when he saw it on film oh man <laughs> oh you man can't that that beat, you no can't you can't hide from, from the film yeah, man yeah. The, the eye in the sky don't lie man. On this, uh, who's one that kind of took you under the wing and like yeah. kind of showed you. Yeah, when I got to the league, it was Charles Johnson was a big one, but I got lucky because um, when I got drafted as a rookie, I went first round, and then in the second round they drafted another D tackle. His name was K1 Short, and um, me and him, we were, we were like best friends. Going like we were together all the time my rookie year. Oh, okay. We had to show up to meetings early to, together. We had to stay late. Um, we had to do everything together, so we just ended up being like real close friends. But so, was he good though? This, well, this is oh your, yeah, he was all pro. Okay, all pro. Oh, okay, all pro, all pro. KK. And this is your first year. Yeah, that was our first year, our rookie year. Well, let's check this out, though. So you, Cam Newton, mm-hmm. 
Steve mm. Steve Smith. Mm-hmm. That's um, hey, 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 hey. Who, who's, who's the white boy linebacker? Luke. 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 Okay, so you – and this squad was good. Oh, yeah, we were good. Right? Yeah. I think you guys went to the playoffs. We went to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. We lost wait, the Super wait, Bowl. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about, like, that process. Like, it's been your dream. Yeah. That season, you guys was murking everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, we, we lost one game that year. Everybody was – and the dab and this yeah. guy was like, no. Nah, nah, I ain't. No, we don't talk about that later. But, <laughs> but I'm saying, though, um, who was the running back during that? that For us? That team, yeah. It was um, Stewart. That's right, and, Davis uh, or something like that, huh? No. No, it was Stewart and. Um, dang. Mike. Mike I Tolbert. forgot they had a name for him or something. Anyway. Else. How, many, look, how many years is this for you in the league before that you was get year to Super three. Bowl? Year three. Year three, you went to the Super Bowl. What? Okay, okay. Yeah. That experience, bro. Like, what is that? Yeah, that was that was that was a crazy experience. Um, it was a it was a stressful week off what? the field. Off the field is oh, a stressful okay. week because there's a lot of things going on. You got to do media. You got to you know, um, families are coming in. My family was coming in, and all I was trying to do was, like, go spend time with my family. Mm. Like, well, because I brought I've, I've brought my family out oh, yeah. to um. To uh, to Cali, uh, it was it was at the Bay, so it was at the Niners' new stadium. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what. <laughs> yeah, so that, that grass sucked. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> it was stupid, on a baseball field. Stupid grass, dog. <laughs> yeah, so it was a, it was a crazy week, man. It was it, it was just like I I was just ready to get to the game. Like it was too much. You're just ready to get it over. Yeah, with. too much noise going okay. on outside, and then you know it was just. Like hurry up, let's 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 get to this game, and you know, I, like I I was I was hungry for a ring, like I wanted to get a ring. Okay, so. look, look, let's do that. Look, high school, right? Win a state champion. Yeah. College, balling now. Went 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 to the NFL. Three years later, Super Bowl. The highest of like, the highest like, like levels. Most people that go to the NFL, they don't even live this dream. Like, <clears throat> you made it to the Super Bowl. Don't mm-hmm. get there. Come on. In yeah. your in your head, right before the Super Bowl, are you thinking we got this? We got this. I was I was pretty confident because um our we were really good, man. We we were like you said we were we were rolling over teams. We had a couple tight games, but. Um, and then I was confident in our like our, our defense, defense, our yeah, defensive yeah, guys, yeah. man. We I I think um, that was the best our our team was at any point was mm-hmm. when we went to the Super Bowl. So, so I was confident, but so let's didn't talk happen. about that. Like the Super Bowl, right? Obviously, as fans, we know Super Bowl is coming. We just prepare to go to the games, but it's different for players mm-hmm. during Super Bowl weekend, right? There's mm-hmm. like a lot of things that go on for you. Yeah, like, it's what a is lot the- of like we got to do a lot of team um, team events. So we got to go okay. do a bunch of media stuff where, you know, um, EA Sports and all that stuff, they want to do a bunch of things. And then um, you have a media day where you go and just every single media outlet that you can think of is there. And they, you just know, they pictures. come, yeah, they come, they they, they ask right? you questions, they take they take pictures and stuff like that. Um, hey, and this comes up my favorite, my favorite picture right here. This is what Naya was talking about earlier, right? So the picture is, if you guys haven't seen it, is they're taking a, a team picture, right? <laughs> And everybody's dabbing. Everybody's doing the dab, right? Uh-huh. But if you look to the left corner, uh-huh. there's a big dude, tonguing guy, just standing there with his hands down, right? Not even smiling while everybody's dabbing, right? And the cool thing about that picture, because like I said, we grew up with him, is that's exactly how Star is. You know what I mean? He doesn't. He doesn't. Give a damn about not gonna follow the come fed. on man like He's not what he's trying to and do that, what's and cool the, and that right there is what the reason why I was like man you know what this dude is different because like I said when you make it to the NFL everybody becomes different you know what I mean they want to do all the but Star has always been the same like that man like he's never cared about the attention or stuff like that is well, but where does that come from Star why are you why are you so like that like why are you not like a a guy that followed the crowd or yeah. I want to be like others. Uh, it comes from home, man. That's how, that's how I was raised. Um, coming from humble beginnings, you know, like we talked about earlier from Tonga, having nothing, coming here, trying to make a living. Everybody's just trying to make it. As Polynesians, when we come here, whoever it was, whoever, whatever first generation it was to come here, they're just trying to find a way. And, um, you know, just I've just never forgotten that. I've, I've always, you know, I, I remember my mom and dad, what they had to do to get me to where I was. And... Um, 
So that's that's just it. Like it's just humble be, humble beginnings and okay. And my my family they they keep me humble. You know my, my sisters know. and stuff. They like would have started clowning yeah. you if you were doing that. Been huh? on, yeah. Well, to them they're like you're star. I don't know who else everybody else <laughs> think you are. Oh my gosh, look at Star. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, cool. exactly. <laughs> exactly, man. Hey, just it. know when Star Come goes on. home, he's not who you guys think he is. Right? Exactly. He gets punked at home. But hey, but so let's talk about that picture, Star. Did you know everybody was gonna do that? Or was that like the coach said, nah, hey, everybody dab? They or? just did it last second. Like they did, like you know, you always when you're taking picture, you always do a serious picture. Then they say funny picture, and oh, then and right. then Cam turned around and he was like, "Hey, dab, one, two, three. And I was like, "Man, I want to go home." <laughs> hey, hey. So it was like, I was saying, I like Cam, home. you ain't nobody, <laughs> me. You know what I'm saying? With that S on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it is not, and it's not just blatantly trying to be different. It's just. Um, like you said, that that's I just that's just I just don't. No, I it just wasn't mean. who I was. It's mm. like I just wanted to be me, and like, and, I, and I'm not saying that it was bad. They were happy. We were happy. We were having a good year. Everybody was on the boat. Everybody was dabbing. You know, okay. they had the whole world Everybody's dabbing and stuff like yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. like to me, it was just that's like, just you. Yeah, you just take care of business, then you go home. That's like that's up, that's what it's always been. So what was that? What was what was your feelings after the Super Bowl? Like we know what happened. Wait wait yeah. wait wait wait! Did you did you fly out your family to the Super Bowl? Yeah. So of course. It was, so yeah. it was, okay. Yeah. Everyone's there. Enjoying well, the watch. I I brought my siblings and their and their their um, spouses. Spouses. Oh yeah. Okay. And then um, my little brother. Um. So I couldn't I couldn't bring out like all the little kids because oh, that was okay. just way, it was too it was crazy. too packed and the, the, there wasn't enough tickets and all oh, that yeah. and it would have been too much for them. I wanted them to come out, to come and be able to enjoy that. Like, it's not so easy. Yeah. He's a nephew. He doesn't yeah, really yeah. care about you guys. <laughs> now you know. When you see it, now you know. The grown, <laughs> the grown folk wanted to have fun, okay? You guys go and watch Disney Plus at home. <laughs> yeah, so. You so your family, you do your own. <laughs> yeah. So your family yeah. had a great time at Super Bowl. Oh, and obviously, yeah. they came to cheer you on. Yeah. And the game goes on, right? Mm-hmm. And we all know when the lights go on, things are different. Mm-hmm. Players got to play, right? Yep. And like cousins say, in the end, in the end of the day, when the clock goes zero zero, you guys weren't the winner at the no. Super Bowl. How did no. that feel like after that? Was it like you're devastated, like when you were when um, you lost at Tim Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you got emotional. Yeah. That. that's why I want to ask. Like, yeah, at Bingham. No, at Bingham. Oh, Bingham. yeah, Bingham. Right. Yeah, it was, it was, it was hard. Like, um, especially in the NFL. Um, you never know when you're going back. That's, like it's it's yeah. not it's hard. not That's dang we got next year. Yeah. Because after that season we let everybody go. Like everybody was That's gone. Right. That whole team was gone. For real? Yeah. So yeah. literally our next season we went we Ooh. didn't even make playoffs. So that's that's how that's the flip that it is. That's how tough the mm. league is. You're in the Super Bowl one season, and the following season, we're not in the playoffs. Home. Like I'm going home before. Not yeah, I'm no, never. So hey, for people out there, they need to understand that it's not easy to make it to the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Just because you make it doesn't mean the next year you're like, oh, that, they gotta make it no. back. No, it's not like that, right? Only for Patrick Mahomes. Or Tom Brady. Ooh. Or Tom Brady. So. Stop. Okay. Stop. Let's not. No. All right. Yeah. So, so Carolina, <laughs> you lose the Super Bowl. Wait, who'd you have to lose it to? We lost to Denver. That's <laughs> who, was, who was the quarterback? Peyton Manning. Oh, but, that's right. But we, uh, that's, we, our defense. That's why. Our defense. It did was our his thing. last year, huh? Yeah, it was Peyton his retired year. Right. But it was Von Miller was the MVP of the game. He oh, had three man. sacks, dog, dog. two sack fumbles. Like hit him and Demarcus Ware hit the Marcus Ware was on the opposite side of him. He Ooh. went off. So it was. I'm not. Look, I'm not saying it was an offense fault, but like. You're saying that. Like the, we, I feel like Cam our defense, Newman. we did our job. Defense, okay. defense, defense did your job. Yeah. You guys did, though. So All right, so obviously, so, so you guys lose the Super Bowl. What's that? Obviously, what's, what's fam, that was family, like, yeah, it was family, man. Like, you trying to, like, say what's up to your family, but yeah. you ain't feeling that type of way. Yeah, look, like, right? you, you know what? <laughs> hey, don't talk to me. Hey, your all dropping. Do not talk to me. like, I'm going to burn this whole place down right now. I, I bought all y'all tickets to yeah. the just, just I'm know, go to my room. Just know if I was there or anybody else, I would say, I'm going. You fool us out here for nothing. Nah, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. So, um, how long were you in the Panthers before you went to the to the Bills, Buffalo? I played there five years. It was the in, Panthers. Yeah, Panthers five years and then um, so you Buffalo went, for four. You went to the Super Bowl the third year, played mm-hmm. there two more years. Two more didn't years. Didn't make it to the Super Bowl. No. Went to the playoffs my last year again, and then um, we lost. Okay. Lost to the Saints 
Drew Brees. And did Buffalo just come to get you, or was it like? Yeah, because my D coordinator from Carolina, he went and he was the head coach at Buffalo, oh, okay. uh, Sean McDermott. And okay. so, he, so you already trusted him, like? Yeah, it's gonna I knew work. the defense. I knew I, I, it was the same defense that we ran, and then yeah, and when I went over there, he he came and he called me and said that he wanted me over there. I was like, I was because I was trying to come home. I was trying to come closer to home <laughs> yeah. again. I, I wanted to move closer <laughs> this to is home. Your chance. Yeah, but. Um, Buffalo move ended up yeah, moving further away. <laughs> move, ended up moving further away, even colder. Like, man, but it was it was still good, man. I loved Buffalo. Okay, so go ahead. Sorry. No, I want to ask you. Uh, obviously, me a D tackle, you getting through these offensive linemen. Who's the one quarterback that you felt like you know? Um, ooh, I got this one. Ooh yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy head. about this. Yeah. That was a good hit. Ooh yeah, yeah. Like, <clears throat> I, I can go and tell my kids, yeah. kids, kids that I, I got. Um, man, probably probably a Rod, Aaron Rodgers. What? He fumbled. Uh, he did fumble. What? <laughs> I sacked him twice. <laughs> 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 Can you scoot back from the mic? Can you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so okay. Aaron Rodgers was that dude. Uh, hey, hey, Aaron. Yeah. So, hey, he a bad, that's what hey, you get. But he a bad boy, though. Oh, hey, 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 Aaron, a bad oh, boy. Man. Okay, so when you with the Bills, there was a big controversy about this year that you opted out. Yeah. That COVID year. Mm-hmm. Like, speak on that. Because people yeah. don't talk about that. But I'm like, yeah. all I know is I was playing Rainbow with Stars. Yep. All, all year. <laughs> <laughs> all year. They yeah. shocked anyway. I, I, I was watching them. Yeah. They oh, did they go playoffs that year or something? Uh, yeah, 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 they, they did. did. They, they did. And then they, lo- they lost say. to uh, Patrick Mo. They lost to the Chiefs. But, like, what was that like? Like, the players treat you different. Was it no, when you came back? No, no, back? no, no. Like, no my, I was real close with my teammates in Buffalo because um, we were all like the same same age. Don't um, okay. So they were great. Like they were supportive. Um, even the even um, my head coach, my head coach and the GM, they called me, and they they tried to convince me like, hey, look, we'll do whatever we need to do, whatever precautions we need to take. Like we'll do that. Like. You can have if you want to do meetings from home. You can do that, and they were they were cool about it. And then um, when I told them like, nah, my mind's made up. Um, they 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 accepted it. Like it, they they were disappointed, of course. But you know, it's in the, in the NFL, it's a business. So as soon as something when something like that happens, they got to go find somebody, somebody that, that that's going to be there. So they instantly have to move on. And they were professionals about it. They, nice. but the hate came from the fans. Yeah. Like the fans were yeah. pissed. Everyone, they they started making up their own stories of why I did it. Like, yeah. what, like what was I didn't going even, on? I didn't even know about this. You opted out for for what? A uh, COVID year. So so oh, co- that... COVID year. You know how the NBA went into the bubble, so yeah. that nobody could go to their games. The NFL had that too, but it wasn't a bubble. It was just no one can come to the games, and then um, and then um. There was a uh, there was just just because I I had opted out just because like there was no everything was uncertain like there was no oh. it was it was rushed into the season was rushed into um, we didn't know what kind of precautions were going to be taken we didn't know how it was going to work mm-hmm. and for me like um, uh, I'm not taking that kind of chance on my family I feel you. like yeah. like even though it, it is what it is COVID is what it was um, to me personally it's just I'm not taking that kind of risk with my wife and my kids. So I made yeah, that decision, I, and I, I was cool yeah, I don't with even it. know what the hell COVID was. Uh, take a shot, and then they found yeah. a cure, and then you got a booster, and then you got <laughs> exactly. to take another one. You got to take another one and another one. Know, hey, yeah, but while it was happening, it was just crazy everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, chaos, dude. yeah it was chaos. So Why like, you were getting the hate, though? Yeah, that uncertainty, it just it didn't sit right with me. That's That was it. That was the only, re- that was the only thing. Well, well, I think because um, – that year that he chose to do that, that year before, the Bills, like, were a good team. That's yeah, time. we were on the so, come up. Yeah, so that next year, they were yeah. like, that's the team to beat coming up. And then Star comes out and says, I'm not going to be on the team. Yeah. Like, he t- um, he opted out. And it's because of, yeah, like you said, um, you right. weren't the risk of what happened. And, hey, and I don't blame you for that because yeah, for at, in the end of the day, you got, a fa- yeah, you got a family mm-hmm. to go back to. Okay, so so you opt out, right? Yeah. Um, And then did you ever wanted to go back? To play, or were you just like you for know real? what? 
I'm done with football. Now. <laughs> that was nice having that time. Yeah, off no, I, no I, um, because I I already had my obligation in my contract was that I got to play, I got to finish my contract. Oh, okay. so there was always, I was always gonna go and finish my contract, okay. but it was just for that that time of like uncertainty. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Okay. I didn't know how it was gonna be handled. So I was like, all right, you guys figure that out, and I'm gonna take my family back home. Okay. <laughs> did, did that time like kind of just open your eyes to like what retirement could possibly look yeah, like? Yeah, man, it did, and it looked really good. <laughs> <laughs> all I remember was my guy was playing games all night, and he had to walk his dogs in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. We bought two new dogs. I had to, I had to stay up because you know when you first get puppies, you gotta, yeah, you, yeah, you gotta yeah, train sure them. You yeah. gotta take them out every couple hours, so That's everybody crazy, was sleep, yeah. and I'd stay up and play games and take the dogs. What kind out. of dog? What kind of dog did you get? Uh, American bullies, two oh, bullies, okay. yeah, two bullies. We What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Hulk and then the other, the girl was Fetty. See, I know hey, every Polynesian, <laughs> the, the old, the dog is named after some Poly. Yeah, you ain't lying. You know what I mean? It's always some Poly <laughs> Okay, so, so, you opt out, chilling at home. Obviously, retirement starts coming into the head. You're like, mm -hmm. man, this feels too good. Yeah, I don't want to leave the family. Um, did you have the other two kids? At that yeah, time, at that time or? it was already all four of okay, us. Yeah, yeah, all six, okay, yeah, all six, all four of the kids was there. Okay, and then you, obviously you came back to play your last. Yeah, my um, last for the contract. Uh, yeah, my last year, my last contract year, I came back and played, um, and I had a good year. Like, okay, like there was a lot of doubt. Everybody was talking about like I was going to come back out of shape. I was going to do that, but no, that's not who I am. I'm a professional. Oh. I took care of business when I was when I was when I was uh, when I was out. I came back and I was probably in the best shape that I've been in since I was like a rookie. Like okay. I came in and I was Bro, feeling good. I'm about to say I was watching some interviews yeah. and they're like, "You look more slimmer." Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, "Oh yeah, I'm getting back up to like game weight." Yeah, but he you were like 300. Or yeah, something? I was light. I was I, I came Ooh. in lighter than what they had. What? You so, probably would have run that 40 in a 43. Now, huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. It's like me. <laughs> Why do you always ruin the conversation? <laughs> So you coming back, you you ready, you feel good, yeah. you, you're ready to roll. Yep. I had a great really season. Good. Yeah, had a good year, uh, but then I got COVID that year. So then oh, I, so, oh, so wait, you got COVID. Yeah, I got COVID that year, and I missed uh, I missed like five weeks. Hey, let me ask you this. Did COVID hit you hard like it did everybody else, or was it just a... It did hit me hard. Yeah? It hit me hard. Um, like, it, it, it didn't, it wasn't, like, I was still walking around and stuff, but, like, I, I was feeling it. Like, I lost even more weight. Damn. I got down to like. Yep. How did you know you got it? Was it the taste? You couldn't taste nothing, or was it just no? Because we, because the thing is, we were still testing. So for uh, and then I'm I I wasn't vaccinated. So for guys who are not vaccinated, smart, smart move. <laughs> for guys who aren't vaccinated, you have to get tested <laughs> every single day. So you get tested before you get. You have to get tested, and then you have to wait like 30 minutes before you can go into the facility because you got to get your test scores back. And then at the game, we we're at a away game, about to play the Jets. And I got tested that morning, and then I was in my in my. I went back because you gotta wake up at like five in the morning, get tested, and I went back to my room, and then um, I got a call from my trainer, and I already had a feeling because he doesn't really he doesn't ever call me, mm. and he called me and he's like, hey, your, your test is pop, <laughs> you're positive, you can't, you gotta stay in your room. Yeah, poor, he gets a lot of failed tests too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Different so, failed tests, yeah, right? Yeah. Say <laughs> So, I love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so you, so you test positive for COVID? Yeah. Um, so, how long did you have to sit out? The whole rest of the season? No, so I just until I was cleared. So, okay. After, I had got it while we were in New Jersey. So, we were about to play. Literally, it was the morning of the game. I got popped for it. And so, I couldn't play. And so, I they drove me back to um, Buffalo. And then I had a quarantine at my house. So, I was there yeah, for... Yeah. Five, I was out for five weeks, and that was towards the end of the end of the year. And I came back, and I was like, I was under three hundred pounds. I came back, I was like two ninety four, and I was Jeez. real, I was real light. Tight end, lost Their a movie lot. Of fullback, <laughs> fullback. Oh, fullback. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, I lost a lot of weight, and um, I, it took a while for me to get back into like football mode. So Damn, like, okay. I was, came back and I jumped back into it, and then I missed another game. <laughs> So I missed another game because of a toe injury, but it was it was, it was gout. <laughs> you heard it here first on Culturally Rooted Podcast. Coach, Star is to, to he's, gout. He's retired already. <laughs> 
coach. He lied to me. Hey, yo. <laughs> I want my money back, coach. <laughs> 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 I bought season tickets back. Yeah. Wait. For real, so, for real? Yeah. So, the, the first game back, <laughs> so because I was trying to put on weight, because uh-huh. I had lost a lot of weight, you they were like having that? me eat everything. Oh. So, I was trying to eat. Drink. Do, do, do your whole life, do you had gout? No. No, I, I rarely so get gout. the very first? No, this was like my second or third time getting gout. But it was always like off season. Like I would get in and oh. it go away quick. But like minor? Like it wouldn't get too bad? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one, um, oh, it got bad only because I came back and I had it the first game back. It, I was, it was already in my toe. And... Um, and you played on it? And I played on it. Oh, and I played on it, and it got messed yeah. up. So it yeah. messed it up for the following week. So it was like half gout, half really hurt. God damn. So, but, cousin, speak on gout, cousin. What is gout? Because so I know gout you. is uh, <laughs> crystallized uh, acid in your joints. And that shit hurts. <laughs> Man, what? Man. Like so, that shit. Yeah, I had to. I, I had to because that was my first game back, and. They needed me to to come back and play, so I just told them Dude, give me get? all the pills you guys got. Oh, <laughs> damn. That's crazy. Let this thing go numb, and I'm gonna go out there. Man, okay. And so you missed the next game. Missed the next and game. And then what happens after that? And I came back. And I came back. Oh, okay. Wait, back. You get fined if you miss games, right? Or no? Un, like unexcused games. So oh. that was they, that one down is like an injury. Injury. Game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, though. So you came back. You finished the season. Yeah, finished the season. Went to the playoffs. When, lost, when, when lost it, to the, the the Chiefs second round. The Chiefs. So. Hey, that, that's when they had Priest Holmes. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was that's just older, huh? that was recent, like two years ago. Oh, oh you what? tripping, though? That was Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> no, I'm and, talking about the running back, Priest Holmes. No, nah, it was um. No, nah, the oh, running back was um, like the Chiefs. Yeah, it was. Is that this one that had all this? I'm thinking Dante Hall, but that's older, huh? Yeah, that's older. Okay, old, okay. Old, old. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so you lost to the Chiefs, right? Yeah. Um, when when did when did retirement come to the stars' mind and was like, hey, you know what? This is. Was that your last year? That was my last yeah. season. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was in 21. So, um, honestly, right after we lost to the Chiefs, I was ready to play. Like, I wanted to play. I wanted to keep going. But then, like. Just time, like time was like I was at home. Um, the time off from football. Yeah, I, like I, I, that was my last year in Buffalo. Like they, then they ended up like they, they were calling me and calling me, and I, while I was at home with my family, I was just like, dang, like maybe I don't want to play. Were you ignoring the calls? Yeah, so I would just ignore <laughs> the calls because I just, I was just like, I was still like irritated that we lost, and then I was irritated mm-hmm. that like I didn't know what like what I wanted to do. Okay. okay. So and were you keeping up like with your training off season stuff or Yeah, I was still like, working out. I was okay. still working out because I, I wasn't sure of what I was gonna do. Just in case. Yeah, but then when my I finally made my mind up, I was just like, Nah, oh, no, I'm 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 done. I, who did who did you tell first? My wife. Your wife. Yeah, my wife. How was that conversation? How was that was she obviously she was relieved, like, okay, but but was there like that where she was like, Are you sure? Yeah, that's exactly what she said. Like mm-hmm. she she just didn't want there to be no doubt, you know. She, cause um, that's all she was. She's like, are you sure you want? Cause she, she went to, she started going to school. She's a nail tech now, so she yeah, went to school cool. and she, oh, okay. she was about to start her own thing, but she didn't want me to. She didn't want me to like stop. Just she, she felt like if I stopped, it'd be because. She just started her thing and she wanted to get going, but yeah, my wife would have said, uh, "We both can't be home." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your I, need you to work. I, mean, I need you to work. I need you to work. It's my turn now. <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. no, that's that's crazy. Okay, so you told your wife, "Look, I, I, it's time to hang them up." Right? Yeah. Made the decision. Your wife made the decision. Did you tell any other family member after that? No, it was just you two. Yeah, I didn't tell anybody. So okay. we kind of just went about a life like. Cause I I wasn't on the team, and um, my agent was calling me, and I was ignoring my agent's calls. I didn't even tell my agent. <laughs> I didn't like I didn't tell okay. I didn't tell anybody. I told I told my wife, and then me and her knowing, like I was getting the questions all the time. Like, hey, are you done? Like, where you at? Where, where, like, where are you playing? I was like, oh, I'm just waiting for a team to call. But in my mind, I was like, man, I'm done. Like, well, I'm. Was there teams calling? I don't. My Guaranteed. agent was calling, oh, so my agent was calling, oh, and, so yeah. and, oh, and he yeah. did. Yeah, he told me um, yeah, coming. the Washington one wanted me to come out there. Mm. Um, he got a call. He 
Vegas, the Raiders, uh, they ended up calling. That damn time. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is with Thank the you Ra- for yeah, Too the late. thing is with the Raiders, like um, when I when I had, when Buffalo had let me go, I was still like, all right, I still want to play. And then I told I told them for sure this time it has to be close to home. I don't care what the money is. I don't care how much I get. That's paid. cool that you can dictate that. Like, yeah, was, you know, I, I didn't know. I thought it was just like you, you have know. to you have to come play here. You yeah, know, yeah, the players but have these, no. These are all your contracts you pick and choose one of them. Yeah, yeah, I was at that point in my career where I was like. I'm like my money. I'll be. I'll still be making good money, right. but it doesn't have to be like whatever, whatever. So it wasn't about money no more. No, I just wanted to be close oh, to so home. So me, and my family can move in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Star. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Hey, but when you made that decision, just like thinking of your football career all the way from when you were small, mm-hmm. yeah, all the way up to the professional level. I had to come to his thought when he was like, making this decision. Did you feel satisfied with your career, or were you like, I gotta go and chase that ring one more time, or like, no, what, what no. was the thought process? It was. I was. I was. I was satisfied because, like we talked about earlier, I, football wasn't my life. Like, um, I, I, I did what I did in football, like good, bad, and ugly. And for for that, like, I'm grateful for everything. Mm. I'm grateful for everything that I went through with football, and I'm grateful for my whole career. I wouldn't change a thing. Um, so when it came time to when I said I told my wife, hey, I think it's time. Um, I was at peace, man. I was Don't I was happy. Like that. Yeah, yeah, I was happy. Yeah. I, it would. For, like I said, like we talked about earlier, football doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't dictate anything in my life. We just don't want you pulling a Tom Brady and then like, oh no no no, hey uh, nah. agent, can I uh, coming back? <laughs> nah, can, can I get one more year? Back this time. <laughs> he's different. <laughs> he's I wanna, different. He's I wanna different. ask this. I want to ask this. Um, was there a moment in time through your whole journey of from high school to NFL, um, or it, before leading to that one ever that was gonna make it or break it that you were gonna just like you know what? No, I'm done. In, in any time of your life, like, you know. What do you mean? What do you mean? Before you going to the NFL, right? You're going to the NFL. Yeah. You said high school. Um, you've been just listening to your story. Yeah. Right? Um, the stress um, mm. and all that, right? So you said you was a lazy um, yeah. student. Yeah. Right? Um, obviously, the preparation and, and going through all that from, from high school, um, going that through college. Um, and now NFL when not. Um, actually, I, I, I want to switch it. Is that what can you tell uh, an individual, younger individual out there? Uh, what could you give them advice and 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 just you know someone like Lamar that's so gifted and talented that he could just make it right. But hearing your story, how the trial and tribulations you went through. Um, you've been knocked down. Uh, you were favoritism senior year. Then all of a sudden you say disappointment, mm-hmm. failure, quit. Mm-hmm. We didn't. You know, you had the support behind you. Um, what would you leave and what would you give advice to those that, you know, that are going to be watching or out there that can strive and at least, you know, mm-hmm. keep on moving? Yeah. Um, short and sweet part is just like <clears> – <throat> There's always gonna be bumps. Like mm-hmm. life, life is never gonna be perfect. Um, but um, it's it's like it's very cliche that to say this, but it's 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 whether or not you you quit. Like you you're gonna like it, everybody says life is a road. Road's got speed bumps. Road got mm-hmm. you know they got auto they got cracks in it. You're gonna you're gonna go through things, yeah. potholes. You're gonna go through things in life. Yeah, you just if it means that much to you, and if what you're doing. Um, is a big enough deal to yourself. Then get through those bumps, and then you you look for the smooth the smooth oh, so, roads, man. So like you're saying, like um, when you had snow and you found out your girl was pregnant at the time, mm-hmm. like you're saying, like although the speed bumps were coming, but you knew this is why. I no speed bumps. Yeah, can as soon stop as as soon as as soon as I I knew that I had a a mouth, a mouth of that I wasn't only responsible for myself. I was mm-hmm. now responsible for another person. That's when I was like, all right, nothing else matters. Like it's, it's he, it's. That's when it was all right. There's, there's, there's nothing else that I, I can do. This is the one thing that I got that I can do, and I gotta do, and then I did it. So. So you're just saying, find your why is what you're saying. So anybody yeah. out there that's trying yeah. to do it, find just your find, why. Find your reason for what you're doing it, and then just stick stick with it. If it means that much, if it means enough to you, and if it means enough to the people around you, then just stick with it. There's okay. All right. So let's go back to this um, star. 
So when you decided to retire, you didn't do a big old retired retirement um, thing. <laughs> you didn't go on TV and say, hey, no, me start. This is probably the, re- the, re- the announcement right here. We're here live with Star Local LA, and he's here to retire from football. If you guys are still trying to hit him up, you don't want to play. <laughs> but um, it's because the gal. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I'm saying so. When you hung him up, you I, obviously you said you and your wife already came to an agreement. You were done. You didn't want to tell the world, so you just went on living your life, right? Like, yeah. You didn't tell nobody. No. You just started. Just went back to just being. Yeah, I just went. That. I just kept being who I am. That's. So are you done with football, star? I'm done playing. You're done playing for for now. Like maybe in the you future, to coach. You're maybe to... like if okay. if it gets to that point. Now, no, I'm, I got I got to get these kids going and. You know, I, I got it. It's their time now. It's my wife's time now. She yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, so we're, we're like so we're gonna go into that right now. We are, I we, like that. We talked about stars, his growing up into football. Everybody knows about that, but really, what we want to start on the show was to talk about what Star is doing after football. We all know he's a football player, right? So, um, like you said, Star, you're off the bat. You said you, it's your wife and your kids is comes first now. Football, you put that behind you and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, tell me, tell me the difference between what you're doing now than you were when you were playing football. Like, what is what what is the what what what's the obstacle that you overcame um, from staying home now, being a dad now? Like, what what is what is the joy? I want to know what's the joy that brings you, and what's the the downfall from from doing this? You know what I mean? Yeah, um, like you quitting football. Just trying to find um, like where I fit in in life now. Okay. Um, I'm a dad. I'm a son, I'm a, fa- I'm a I'm a husband, and I'm trying to find that balance because I haven't had to, to constantly deal with it um, for the last 15 years of my mm. life. So, Because football was first. Yeah, because football, it was always football. But now, um, now I'm in the backseat. Now it's my wife. She got her career going. My, I'm trying to get my kids ready to, to, to prepare them for what they got to go through soon. I got a girl who's, you know, in junior high. She's about to be in eighth grade. So my kids are growing. That's crazy. Time. You remember yourself when you were in eighth grade? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I was. I was. Eighth grade. Yeah, Yeah, man. So it's like the unfortunate part about being a professional athlete is time doesn't stop, even though you're in the league. Like, like time was still moving, and now that I'm done. Like time's still not gonna stop. Oh, like it, yeah. it's still moving, and it, the, the the moves got to be there. Do you feel like you got you got a lot of catching up to do now that you done um, with football, or were you like, no, I'm just I'm fitting right in right now? With yeah, I feel I feel comfortable, but there's there's um, it's just again like it's just trying to figure out like exactly mm-hmm. what what is next like um okay. for for my kids. It's it's trying to get them settled in. My wife has her own thing. She's she's busy with her her nail her nail tech stuff. She's working. Um, but my big thing right now is my kids, my nieces, my nephews, trying to help whatever way I can for you Your youngest. How old is your youngest? He's six. Any six. sports? No, he, he's um, – Just your, your girls. Yeah, my girls are in sports, and then my my, my little star, he's, he's going he's gonna to play rugby this year. Ooh. This is his first year of sports. How old is he? Watch out. He's nine. So he'll be nine in May. Okay. okay. Hey, or next if you month. know little star doesn't make it to the game, he had gout. It's not a toe. <laughs> it's not a toe thing. It's, it's gout. Just hey, kidding. Just hey, kidding. What, what was your uh, your family's like reaction? Just just like having you home all the time. Was that different yeah. for them? Like, oh, it's football season and dad's like here. Yeah. Um, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, um, I think my wife. You know, my wife is just, it's normal for her. Uh, I think with my kids, they're trying to figure out like. Dang, okay, now dad's home all the time. Like, what can I get away with? What can I, <laughs> like, oh, like, what's yeah. it going to be like? Like, is he, it's like, changed. yeah, oh. like, what's his attitude going to be like now? Is he is he still going to be? <laughs> That's funny. So man. now dad, it's. Dad, I don't want to do my chores. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know, so. Yeah, but, but I think just because it's been going on for over a year now, because I didn't play last year, so, um, you know, that I think they're, they've kind of settled in and they're yeah, used to having to. me home now whenever That's I, cool. I got to okay, go Okay, look, I got to ask you this. That's dope. And don't lie. Who's your favorite kid? <laughs> yeah, we all got that favorite. Come on now. We all got Come on. Favorite. We all love them, but there's that one that just has your yeah. heart different than everybody. Yeah, I love all my kids, but def- I'm 
my my youngest my youngest boy Zion. Okay. Yeah, I spend I spend all my time I spend most of my with time him, with him. Huh? Yeah, because okay. he's he's in uh, he's half day school, so he's mostly at home with me. My mom goes to work, and the, that's other, the ride or die one. Yeah, older kids are at school, so yeah. we're at home ordering fast food and poor oh, kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spend the, time with that's dad. The little, that's the dreadhead. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's a little dreadhead. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's so good. let's go on to this talk. So now that you're home, family man, um, what 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 does Star do now? Like different from everything else, from football and behind the curtains that nobody know. Like besides being a dad, yeah. Besides being there for your kids and all that. Like what 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 is what is Star's dream now? Like what is your <clears throat> what is yeah, your goal to, now? Just trying to do something with the money that I got. So going into different, um, trying to you know what they call it, diversify and stuff like that. Okay. I have different investments in different places. Generational and, health, right? yeah, I mean, trying, wealth. Yeah, trying to make that generational wealth. Um, trying to make it last for for not only my kids, but maybe their kids, and maybe they can have do something with it and do something for their kids and stuff Smart. like that. So that awesome. getting into, you know, different different little business stuff and investments and then a little bit of real estate and stuff nice. like that. So, wow, okay. so that's that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm, I'm still trying to build on what, what was given to me and what I was blessed with. Dope life. How's right. your mom and dad doing? Good, man. Yeah. Good, yeah. They're they're chilling. They're getting ready to go on a mission. So, oh. man, they still doing yeah, that. Yeah, man. They're that's man, life. I've been doing that since day one, dude. <laughs> no, that's the there was like right missionaries. No, for real. <laughs> to our yeah, board. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Okay, I got one. Um, so so you got two boys. Mm -hmm. They're growing up. They start getting serious about football. <laughs> what does this do to you? And how do you coach them up? Great question. Yeah. Um, do you want them to play football? I could care less. Um, I know right now that my star, he, I know he's going to want to play because uh, his older cousins are playing. Uh, and, and he loves he loves watching his older cousins play. And For him, he every year he asks me, can I play this? Can I play that? Can I play this? And for me, I, I like I just went, hey, chill, man. Like, <laughs> you, 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 you got your whole life ahead of Have fun. Huh? Like, you're going to be able to play a lot of sports. But right now, like I just want – my younger two, I want them to just enjoy being kids. Like I Ooh, want them to go around, like, like go around, and have fun, go to hang out with their cousins, go go watch their cousins play sports. Oh, like yeah. support them, I like, like be there for them, have fun being a kid. Like I still train my sons. Like I, okay. I make them work out. I, I was going to say, yeah. are you one of those parents that you know that are you know there's there's parents out there that I'm pretty sure on media they they drive them through the wall oh, of yeah. trying to be like top-notch athlete from exactly. day one yeah that's how you are or no 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 not totally at all. opposite because totally opposite uh i see i know what it's like to get there right oh. and then i've seen um guys who are affected by that kind of lifestyle growing oh. up and i'm not saying all of them go through it some guys uh -huh. they've been doing it since they're little and right. they grow up and they're, they're they ball out they do what they got to do but for me, with my boys, I'm just and my kids, my kids, my I just I just want them to have fun. I want them to be kids. I don't want them to to rush into, dang, I want to be the best at this. I want to be the best at this. And like a lot of parents, like they they, I know what you're talking about. They push their kids to be, you know, they got football, then Dude. they go straight to piano, then they go straight to <laughs> they busy. go straight to karate, yeah. and whatever it is, and that that's cool. Like if that's what you do, that's what you do. But for me, just being around it for all my life. Um, like it's at, at, at some point it, it can take a toll. So wear and tear. Yeah, wear and tear mentally, physically, emotionally. Yeah. So for me, I don't want that to happen to my boys. I want them to and to my my kids. But my girls are they're starting to get into sports now because they're older. Yeah. But f for my boys right now, I'm I'm just having them just chill. Like just That's chill. Dope. That's dope. You guys man. enjoy this. That's cool. So yeah, they gotta love it first yeah. before they like yeah. get to that yeah. level of like dedication mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you don't love the game, you ain't yeah. gonna put it in. Yeah, it's not gonna be there. Like you gotta love, you gotta love something about what you do in order to be good at it. So, hey, let me ask you this, Tom. So obviously, our podcast is called Culturally Rooted, um, and you're a rooted kid, uh, guy from Tonga and all that. You're a culture dude. Um, is there something in our culture that you? that you agree with and then you disagree with that goes on and then you're like, oh, I, I know we have to do that, but I really don't agree with that. Um, or you just, you're just just like, oh, it's one of those guys that's like, you know what, I'll just do whatever my mom and dad tell me to do. Yeah, that's been who I've grown to be is whatever makes my parents happy is that's what I'm going to do. But 
I think every culture has things that pros and cons. Yeah, pros and cons. I feel like um, our people, we kind of we prioritize giving to a point where even if you don't have it, you find a way to give it. And don't that's, speak at on times, that. That's at Thank start, you. Yeah, just at times like Thank that's you. not the, that's not always the best way to live. Like if you don't have it, don't give it. Thank like that's you. that's that's the only thing that I say for 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 our culture is that sometimes we give and we we put other things ahead of what we really should. So you, it, to me, it should be you, your wife, your kids, your family. And then if you have to, if you have it to give, give. There but you if you know. don't, don't give, t- yeah, don't, don't give, give man. What's yeah, first. don't put Thank yourself you. through Thank all you. that. Yeah, I agree 100%. That's it. Yeah, man. Oh, hey, he just dropped some jewels right yep. there. Listen up, y'all. You know, he went to Utah. He dropped some jewels. He's pretty, <laughs> he's pretty smart. That coaching, let's talk about that. Like, would you ever go into coaching? Yeah, I think... I think um, Kalani, you hear this? <laughs> I need you. I need get you to get guy, my guy. <laughs> no, nah, not anytime soon, but um, as far as coaching, I, I want to... I think uh, the where I'd make the biggest difference is with kids. Uh, I don't, I don't, I I probably could be a possibility where I go to maybe college or something like that. But um, focus on the kids. yeah, I want to help the kids. I want because I know how much it means to parents, and I know how much Ooh. talent there is in in our fam, in our in our people, like Tong and like Samoans, all all of us. There's so much talent, and um, there's. The good thing about nowadays is there's a lot of resources, man. Way more resources than we oh, had when we were young. That's right. So they got everybody has their own little workout workout groups, their training groups and stuff like that. So you trying to get your own? No, nah, I wouldn't get my own camp or stuff like that. <laughs> but like maybe go to like high school and try okay. to help out. Like go to a, whatever high, like a high school nearby and and try to help maybe coach up, give my not just share my knowledge mm. with kids so that oh, they okay. have whatever I have in my head that they could use. They can take it and run with it and do whatever they need to do with it. So. Back. Back. Okay. Let's yeah, that's start. that's as far as coaching right now. That's where it's at. Sorry, I got a quick question. Yeah. So for the college kids trying to get to the next level, mm-hmm. what would you say is the biggest like change or like what what can they work on to try to get to the next level and that would help them succeed? College, college players going, going to, to the professional. Yeah. yeah. Like. Yeah. Um. It's a. Uh, Again, it's something that it's it's no secret. It's just fundamentals. It's mm-hmm. technique. It's hard work. you gotta yeah you gotta work hard, but you gotta you gotta work on your technique. There's there's mm-hmm. the everybody in the league is fast. Everybody's strong, mm-hmm. but the most consistent players and the best players have the best and consistent technique. That's that's all it is in the league. Is if you want to get to the next league, you gotta love your technique. You gotta love you gotta love working on your technique, and you gotta take do whatever you need to do to to. To master that, like master your technique. That's hey, that'll be the biggest. Who was your favorite thing. football team growing up, Star? Ravens. NFL. Ravens. I was a Baltimore guy. Ooh. Ray Lewis. Why? Why, why the Ravens? Ray, Ray Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, my okay. first number I ever wore was fifty-two. So okay. I was cool. I was a Baltimore. Did you Ravens ever get to fan. play against him? No, nah, he retired. Right before. Okay. He retired the year before I got oh. there. So. So is that your fo- is that your favorite football player of all that, time? That was my favorite football player growing up. Who is it now? Um. Don't say Tom Brady. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I, 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 I really don't watch. If I, okay. if I'm not playing, I'm yeah. not watching football. If, oh, if it's okay. not film, like, like, like we talked about earlier, like football doesn't really. It's, yeah, it's not like a dictator okay. yeah, dictation. Like yeah, okay. it's not. It doesn't dictate nothing in my life. So, like, I, I enjoy watching college and I enjoy watching high school football. Right. But um, NFL. NFL, it's. Yeah, I'd probably still say like uh, Ray Lewis, cause just because that's I was, I was, that was my favorite player growing up. I was, I Ray loved, was I nice. loved them. Like, fifty two was my number and stuff like that. So, um, man, I would have been tight to play against him though, huh? Yeah, would have. So who's so have. who's the who's the best football player that you played with or played against like that? Man, there's a lot. Like, um, who stands out? Give me top three. Yeah, I'd say. Julius Peppers, because he hey, came he back. He came back from my Damn. last year in, in Carolina. Damn. So I yeah, played. He him. was raw. Yeah. So Pep. Where's Pep, he at now? He's, he's retired. Yeah, he's, he's retired. Yeah. So he played 18 years. Yeah. He yeah. played 18 he seasons. Was a dog, dog. He's he'll be in the Hall of Fame. So okay. And he was a cool dude, man. One of the coolest dudes. Is I ever he really met. that big in real life? Oh, he's huge. Like man. he's 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 different, man. He's just different. He's. 
He's big, but okay. You got Julius Pepper. Give me two more. Yeah. Um. Marshawn Lynch, Beast Mode. Stop. Um, he's nice like that. Man, what? Stop. That's is he hard to tackle good. like that? He's the strongest he running back I've ever played against. I swear. I, I swear. Oh, you got star. You said this too. <laughs> nah, hey, man. hey, you caught him a few times. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got. I've that. gotten a lot of like tackles and TFLs on him, but. He's the strongest. Like he's the strongest running back. was going Ooh. good. He said that. Remember when I said this? <laughs> My running back was who? Yeah. Hey, for hey, real though. Hey, 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 I got a lot of he's raw like that, man, star. He's he's something else, man. Okay. He's different. Okay. okay. Give me one more. Um, and then an, another hero of mine that I got to meet and actually like talk to and stuff was Troy. Polamalu. Troy Polamalu. Like Damn. when that stuff happened with me at the combine, he texted me. For real? Wow. Yeah, and then I didn't have his number or nothing, but the number po- uh, oh, came dope. up, Polamalu Troy, and I was like, ain't no way. Ain't no man. way. Yeah, no you know way. what I mean? Ain't no way my uncle yeah. hit you. Ain't <laughs> no way. <laughs> he, know, he hit me up, and like he, was, like he was just clowning. He was just like, hey, man, slow down on all the katsu and all the uh, <laughs> all, and all the, like, the Polynesian food. That's what he was saying. He's just, That's All the right. mac salad. He's like, stop eating all that stuff. You'll be good. But he, just, oh, he was just hitting me up to say like he was there to support me. And then, How was that to get a text from a legend like Troy? Oh, we know. Man. Hey, Troy what? changed the game for us, Polly. Come on. He He's did, the first man. to play the skills. Come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Come We on. all played Troy. D-linemen and linemen. But yeah. to, and he wasn't just playing that. He was... Good yeah. at that. Hall you know of Famer, I mean? man. That was yeah. the first, first nice ballot nice. right there. Did you ever play against him? Or I did. Yeah. My, my rookie year. And uh, that's the thing is after the game, you know, it wasn't a fluke. He came up to me after the game and he was talking to me and Damn. just saying how much he, he, he cares he cares about me and my career. And he just wished me luck. Man, one of the, one of the coolest moments in, in the league yeah. was me. That's, that's dope. Remember that. It was there. That's dope. <laughs> 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 yeah, was you say Troy Polamalu, not Troy Mahu. <laughs> All right, hold up. Okay, <laughs> going off of that, going off of that. Is there like a like a like a brotherhood like for Polynesians? Like you know, you playing oh. another Polynesian? Are you like hitting them up? Like, hey, yo, can we mix at your spot yeah, before I chill? dip out? Or yeah. like you before come to the Carolina game and then after the game? Yeah, like you guys talk like that or no? Like it, you mean like as Polynesians that were in the league? Yeah. That, yeah. Oh, um, to an extent, yeah. I mean, I, I don't have every single Poly, poly dude's um, phone phone number, but I can say that for the most part. And this was more so with the OGs. Like when oh, I first got to the league, like Isaac like Sopuanga, uh, uh, okay. Haloti, Shone Pauha, oh, yeah. Troy, um, they all, every time I played one of them my rookie year, every one of them came up to me, gave me a hug, and I was like, hey, dude, Jeez. proud of you. Like, I'm so happy for you and your family. That's dope. Um, crazy. So, so man, that's it's all of that's crazy for real. Yeah, so it's, there's definitely, and every time you see another Polly on the field, like you always go, uh, like every time I try to make it a point to go and like say what's up, like congrats, yeah, gotcha. just because it happened it's to love, me. Yeah. It happened to me. The OGs did it for me, uh-huh. and so like you try to pass that on so that they keep doing it. Come on, because it's getting more and more of our guys are are getting in there, and it's it's good to see. Dope. No, that's tight. Yeah, I played, man. This year is long. Oh, my bro. Yeah, that's crazy. He he had a camp and he was doing his camp in American Samoa. And he texted me, and he, he was asking me if I wanted to go out there to American Samoa with what? him and go through the camps. Like, that's the kind of guy See, he is. See, how tight is yeah. that, though? That's the you kind of guy I mean? he is, man. Me like, and the dollars, you're the best, and you want to go back to an island yeah. to teach Help them, them like, look, yeah. I came from nothing, too. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, Troy was... Hey, shout out Troy, yeah, though. Man. Yeah, for real. Hey, I heard he's like a very spiritual person, too. Like, he's... Very See, humble. I don't, I, I don't know him to oh, to, the, okay. to that point. I, I like I he, I met him and it was like a like he came and showed love and he texted me a couple of times, but I don't know him oh, like okay. personally. Just mu- mutual respect. Yeah, mutual respect and it's mutual love, but okay. I don't know him personally. As, Do you as still a, have his number? <laughs> <laughs> you still have that text? Yeah, yeah. Manti Trail. Make sure. Uh, <laughs> Oh, no, you're not answering my call. <laughs> <laughs> Your lost nephew will be here. <laughs> okay, okay, look, that's tight, look. But we're coming down to, to the end of our podcast. Um, you guys got any more questions for him, like, before we do something else? No, I just want to say I appreciate you even taking the time, um, you know, to come out here and, and speak on a lot of things that um, a few, you know, adolescent kids out there that um, are striving to and are feeling – the wall that, you know, they may hit and, and fail that, you know. Um, so, again, like I said, tip my head off, and I appreciate you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah, for real. Good, good looking out, Star, Thanks man. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man, we, we just want to get Star on here. Um, like I said, we he's not on a lot of 
social media, so we're, we're just glad that he None. decided to be on this. <laughs> Oh, snap. I got snap. I got snap on my, my dog right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he sucks at Rainbow Six. So, <laughs> so please don't add him. Hey, yo, <laughs> speed round, speed round, speed round. Oh, yeah, okay. Before we close, so speed we're going to finish round. off with this. We're going to do a rapid rapid fire question okay. to you, Star. Yep. All of us are going to ask you a question. You answer it, goes oh, to the next man. dude. So right. just go ahead and answer it to your best I'll ability. I got you right off go the bat. Right. Uh, Superman and Batman. Superman. Favorite tongue and dish. Uh, Lucy B. Ooh. LeBron or Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. You stupid, bro. Why would you say? <laughs> Kobe Bryant. Thank you. Kobe Thank Bryant. You. Thank you. Can you just hey, ask you a question? Said, he, he, yeah. Uh, if Kobe was in it. If oh, Kobe was in it. Said, hold on, no, hold on, hold Thank on. You. He already answered. He Why Michael Jordan? Because I don't like LeBron. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. We yes. 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 I don't want to do this no more. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So what was your question? I said Kobe Bryant, and he said Kobe Bryant. Kobe. So it doesn't matter. It's all yes. All yes. All right. Um, Stupid question. <laughs> All-time favorite video game? Assassin's Creed series. Ooh. Okay. I didn't okay. think you was a Wait, all of them? Oh, I'm a gamer gamer. I didn't all think of them? you were <laughs> over ass. Mm. Hey, that's, that's you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Spider-Man. <laughs> um, shut up. It's my turn. <laughs> um... Let's go to... Uh, oh, yeah. This is your last one. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I still got more. Don't no. mess me up by saying John, dude. Okay, <laughs> oh, wait, favorite, favorite... No, yeah. Favorite running back of all time? Marshawn Lynch. Hey. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> and who said... He played for Seattle. He didn't play for you guys. Listen, I said this, though. Out of everybody's story? Everybody. Okay, in my mind. Um, That's favorite uh, NBA uh, team? Jazz. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> who is that? Is that a, right, that right. a high school dude? Right. I don't know who that is. That one. Tell me. Okay. <laughs> On that note. No, 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 no. Two they were all right. Stuff. They were all right. Let's just keep okay. going. Let's just keep going. Tell me what the name Black Sheep mean to you. Oh, Ooh, hey, I saw that in the back of his truck. Yeah, this it's, is family. This is this is my uh, this is my, my cousins, my brothers. We got a little, like, we get together, we drink kava, we chill. This is a family. So. If y'all don't Black know... Sheep, uh, Star really is the darkest of his family. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my little low is darker sheep. than me. Don't like nah, shout out low. Shout out low. Nah, nah, shout out low, but yeah. we all know. <laughs> okay, look, I got hey, one. Wait, hold on, is, is Black Sheep? Yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, I saw it on the back. Man. I saw it on the back of his truck. I was yeah, asking. I thought it was like y'all talking about the movie. Kava. Nah, that's this guy. He's Black. Sheep. You like mixing oh, Star? Nice. Yeah, that's all I do. Yay. Okay. Yay. Hey, it's my turn. Be quiet. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Favorite Disney movie ever. Oh man. Uh, the, 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 the Toy Story. Is that Disney? That was a good question. First one. First one. First one. First one. First one. Toy Story. <laughs> to Infinity and Beyond. Beyond. <laughs> All right, sorry. You know what? He didn't do it. He didn't hang in. Toy Story and Beyond. Yeah. Toy Story and Beyond. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's not his favorite. Let's go one more round. One more round. Go ahead. You got another one? Just shoot. On top of your head. Shoot. Go ahead, cousin. Favorite soda? Soda? Uh, Sprite. Favorite food? Chinese food. Yes. Over Polynesian food? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, go on you go in the panda. What are you ordering? Uh, teriyaki chicken, uh, walnut shrimp, and orange chicken. Typical tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's on fire right okay, now. Yeah, it do. All right, okay. that, who else? Is it you? Uh, That's it. It's you. One I more. Them, I, I wait the white right flag. I'm, okay. I'm you done? That's it. That's it. Hey, I know ammo. Star, again, appreciate you for showing yep. love, man. Been a pleasure, my bro. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, we got a lot of uh, information off of you, man. I appreciate you for showing some love for us, culturally rooted. Um, cousin, go ahead. Hey, yo, just on behalf of us for being our first guest, <laughs> we have some gifts for you. Oh, it's not yeah. much, but uh, oh, yeah. here's a That's bag. That's the best Christmas uh, right here. I would say do this one first. This what is, what uh, kind of cover is that? This cousin? is Cavatona right here. Okay. Mm. But this one's all right, dog. This one. I'm going to have to do this tonight. The one that you need to try, Ooh, my friend. What's that one, cousin? Is uh, Baba's Mini Market straight from Fiji. Ooh. Ooh. So, uh, you know, that's the best, huh? Thank I you. had to raid my brother-in-law's uh, <laughs> hey. his stash, but hey, yo, like. Use it, abuse it. I, I hope will. you like it. Shout, shout out, out hey, it, thank man. you, cousin, for doing that. Shout out, Star again oh, for Lord. coming to our podcast. Yeah. Hey, shout out, Colin, for my sure. love for the cover. <laughs> thank you, TJ.